Is everyone ready for another exciting episode of Rot Grind? Yeah. yeah. Wait, was that our actual intro? That's our actual intro. Yeah, that's intro. our intro. That's that's our, oh my God, wait, we're in an intro. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> the way it instantly cut you out. Yeah, Discord's like, <laughs> no. No, Just we're not letting not you through. Today. Not today. No. <laughs> So <laughs> Someone close Peter, the door. Not, not allowed. Yeah. Not allowed. Not allowed to close scream. Not allowed to scream. Not allowed Whoa, to scream. Wow. He has no mouth, but he must scream. He must scream. Must scream. But uh, oh. it's so good to see everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of Rock Grind. Uh, I'm on break. You guys are the intro. Uh, I'm back. All right. Sweet. I got to take control as usual. Yep. Hello, Chad. Welcome back to Rock Grind, a world in decay, a tabletop RPG. Hosted by the late Zoran the Bear, as in he's late. Yeah. Uh, and we will be uh, starting our stuff off with a group of people that we have. Uh, you know them very well. Starting furthest from the left on your screen uh, is Odo. Who is? Who is Odo, really? Who? Who? Who is? Who? Who? Hello, I'm Odo. Uh, dubiously, uh, according to some reports, I'm Odo. I'm going to be playing Vina, the Sylph Swashbuckler. Uh, and I hope you're having a good day, allegedly. And next to Odo in the roster, sitting there next to me, is everyone's favorite, Hulky Crow. That's me. I'm Hulky Crow, the bearer of lies. And today, I will not be playing the Kanrasu cleric, Rahua, because I know exactly what you want and are getting for Christmas, and you are not getting it. Damn. I fail to see how that makes any difference, whether or not you're playing the Kanrasu cleric, Rahua, that you are playing, by the way, I've declared it. Uh, so, Damn. immediately after that is me, I'm Erndil, I'm playing as Baldrick Weathers, the human alchemist. Uh, I'm filling in for Zorin because he's taken a quick breather, which is fine. We all encourage that. Breathing is good. You need it to do things, as most anabolic beings do. Uh, however, who is not an anabolic being is the guy directly to my right, Speaker D. Upon it sat a shape, black-mantled, huge and threatening. A crown of steel he bore, but between rim and robe, naught was there to see, save only a deadly gleam of eyes, the lord of the rot grind. Now he was come again, bringing ruin, turning hope to despair and victory to death. A great DPS character he wielded, and crushed the encounter between his iron fingers! Hi, I'm Ron, so you could do is okay? Yay. Is that like an Alan Wake? Were you Alan Waking? Um, <laughs> no, I Alan was, wakes the, up. The esteemed works of Tolkien. It's like the one guy going to audition for Little Red Riding Hood, and it's like we, it's like we're we're, we're looking for Little Red Riding Hood. Well, that doesn't matter because what you got was that. Uh, however, in keeping aside with the Speaker D's Tolkienisms. Uh, we do have to talk about the bear in the room, and that is not Zorin. In fact, that is going to be our GM, Zorin the Bear. <laughs> Hi, I'm apparently the game master for this evening. Thurston, go on break. Hell yeah, I got some more grave moss to farm. See y'all yeah, later, five. bye. Take five. <laughs> you gotta prep for that oh, raid tomorrow. Hi, I am host and temporary game master for this evening, Zorin the Bear. I'm playing Orin the Strix Druid. Uh, we're all currently level eight, and I'm excited to adventure with my friends today. Yeah, and immediately to his right is the actual game master, the shadow game master, the shadow president, as it were. Thurston. Hello, it's, it's me. It's, it's on call GM. I'm excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna do fun things. We're gonna have a fun game today. It's gonna be super super fun and fun, and I can't wait. Everybody, no for real. Um, I'm looking forward to our last session before we go on a little crimbo break because we got a spoopy house full of spoopy things to continue exploring. Yay. And of course, I think the last time we were messing around with the spooky house that. Maybe our memory is a little bit fuzzy. Maybe maybe we need someone to help us remind us all exactly what happened last episode. Who here wants to earn a hero point if they can recap last episode? 
I was Wait. going to do that because I also was the GM and I was also the person uh, hosting. So I will tell everyone in the chat what happened last time. Uh, mercifully, not a lot uh, horizontally happened, but a lot happened very vertically. Uh, Yay. What ended up happening was as we were exploring the bottom floor of the Sacristy Manor, the big fucking place owned by our good friend Sandal Declan. We don't like him. He's not our friend. He's bad. Don't talk about him. Uh, owned by him and his grandpappy. Uh, and we were exploring, looking for any clues as to what's going on and why this place is so fucked up and evil. Because weird rot things keep happening. We don't like that. That's very bad. We don't trust that. So we went to the right. And we found a big ass raccoon. Not a normal one. Like an evil fey raccoon. Thurston, or whoever is in charge of putting it up, put it up. We got to see our new best friend, the, ra the raccoon. I'm, I'm, I'm working, I'm working. You, you can't feed him grapes. He doesn't like them, but he does like blood. I never do declare he likes grapes. I never he declare he likes you grapes. Do not, he does not like grapes. I narratively declare that you did not narratively declare that. I narratively declare, I declare, declare that, declare that I continue the recap. Uh, in any event, he uh, he he was not a friend. Well, he was a, he was pleasant enough, but he recognized that Rahua was a uh, another Fey king. He is also a Fey king of what? I have no idea. We don't want to know, and we didn't find out. But specifically, he had bound up a member of the house work staff and was threatening to do horrible things involving cookery and bleach and apricots or something. And we had to get him out of there, so we did. And we learned that this place is fucking weird from, as, as a shorthand for it. I get into detail on it, but we don't need to get into that right now because there was a raccoon and he was scary and he threatened to fight us in, well, specifically Rahua in the Mutton King parking lot. By the way, thank you for adding a parking lot to, uh, to Outset. I'm certain that is understandable. Yeah, that's where we the cars. cards go. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> Any event, the... Uh, we uh, elected to leave him a parting explosive gift as a prank, and he loved the prank so good, he is going to tear Rohua apart in the fight. And we had a good old laugh about it, and Rohua made a friend that he hates, and we left, and we went to the left, into the west part of the lower floor. And we opened the door, and we saw a big, fat zombie. So we closed the door. We opened it again, and the fat zombie was closer. So we closed it again. Then we opened the door a third time and closed it and then moved on. Then we opened another door and there was a real fat zombie there. And he and he, he didn't like us. So he so we engaged in combat. And then we got a lot of damage taken because they kept tearing our skin off. Or most of everyone else's skin. I'm fine. Uh, and then Vina was rolling extremely well, dealing high amounts of damage and doing just all kinds of really cool shit. And then she got alpha abused really hard because she rolled a complication and fell and is now lo has now lost a kidney. This is an actual thing that's happened. We are working on getting art to represent this. But that is in essence what happened and then we were left on the bottom floor after dealing with two things on the bottom floor and having been thoroughly debilitated by both. Yes. And now we are waiting to continue exploring. And so... As we begin today, we begin on a frigid mountaintop. The air is cold here. A howling gale overtakes everything. And a lone winged figure travels up the escarpments and rises of this immense mountaintop pushing themselves to their absolute limit. Oren, would you please give me an athletics check with a minus six age penalty? If you just wanted to kill the character Thurston, I could have just jumped off the mountain. No, no, no. I do apologize. Reflex save, was it? Or were you uh, athletics time? check with Thank a you. minus six, please. Minus six, you say. Ah, that's practically yes. death to me. I have rolled as a 17 on the die for a total of 22, Thurston. 
you you withhold yourself against the elements as you uh. are as you are walking up towards your destination. The wind here is whipping, it's cracking your face. You can hear this constant maddening gale all around you. What are you doing? Awkwardly looking for sound effects because you threw a mountainous gale when I had Elma Mansion's priest said. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's what I do. It's like, I guess Arn continues to climb, knowing that he cannot use the wind to his advantage to fly. Uh, I'm trying yeah. to stick over closer to the mountain to try to have the wind whip by instead of being taken by it. You, you carry on towards towards your goal, but it sounds as though like the wind itself takes on a, a voice and you can hear it the, the cascading gale the, oh, oh, and, oh, and, like it's talking to you as you are climbing up. Orin tries to follow the voice. Orin, 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 Orin. Why are you here? Why are you here? Why? He's like, looking. I'm looking for a friend. Looking to see if anyone's still around here. And Orange keeps going around the mountainside. Yeah, give me a fortitude save with a minus six age penalty. Let's see. Let's see. Minus six. That's right. I roll the die. Almost saw that one. I rolled the 19 on the die with the minus six and so. So it gives me a 27. Uh, you continue up enduring the elements here as the voices go. Why a friend? Why a friend? Why a friend? Because I don't have any. And I'm always ready to make new ones. Are you loved? Are you loved? Are you loved? It's like, my dad loves me, and my tribe does, but I want to meet new people. I want to help take care of more things and take care of animals just like my father. Take care, take care, take care. Wow. And this massive gust seems to billow forth between two upper peaks. The, the the wind just impacting you in the chest, causing you to, you know, stagger back slightly. Um, but you might be hurled off unless you uh, give me an athletics check. Or sorry, an acrobatics check in this case. Okay, got it. Also minus six. Oh, yeah. That is a 13 on the die, even with the minus six, is a total of 21. Perfect. You find that you are pushed off the side, but but not enough to like send you careening down the mountain. In fact, your your wings actually give you the ability to glide down, kind of coming in front of the face of an open cave. Um, the, the darkness sort of yawning in front of you, but the, the wall that you've sort of glided down in front of provides you a bit of buffer against the, the winds here. Uh, in fact, if you had to tell, this place is almost like perfectly hidden between some of the, the, the juts and peaks here. A cave you doubt anyone has seen in a long time. Orin will... Proceed, proceed inside, obviously with caution, as he has no idea mm -hmm. if anything's living in there currently. I would like to roll a perception check to see if there's anything on the ground to indicate anything's uh, using it as a home. Yeah, yeah. Give me a, give me a, give me a perception check. And also for chat, I already gave Aaron Dill his zero point. Yeah. Well, at a minus six. Sorry, at twenty-two yeah. minus six. Okay. So you, you find yourself uh, looking at the walls here. You find yourself picking up a stick that sort of lies on the ground. You can tell, though, as, you, as you're looking about here, uh, the sort of frozen dirt has some lines almost dug into it. You guess, having picked up this stick, that someone was drawing symbols into the into the ground here, into the earth. Um, as you look at them, you can tell they're, they're, they're naturalist symbols. They're, they're very similar to the sort of 
druidic language you've just started to learn. Yeah, Orin will come up and read them. Yeah, as as you start to read them, you can tell that they are they are like welcoming um, sigils, sigils of you know. Ba basically, like safe space or protection here, indicating that this this is some sort of reprieve from the elements outside. Thank you. Or an understanding, he'll proceed deeper into the cave, either looking for like a cache or maybe somebody's like left some dried meats or salted meats around or something. Yeah, you you begin to take a step further. At this point, um, the the light is becoming very dim um you've you've, you've you've managed to to master a few can trips however um you know you're very proud of yourself for your your magical discoveries here it's like yeah i'm one of the most unique ones of the tribes who can do it I'm like my dad so as you as you approach you're able to to conjure forth a bit of a bit of light just a small bit, but it's enough to, to help you traverse the cave. Uh, and you can hear the walls kind of howling still, though the wind is outside. It sort of reverberates through here. But then, then you hear something else. It speaks in a almost booming, resounding voice. Oh, no. Ornable turned his uh, improvised light source around to look around and like, hello? Yeah, as you, as you look around, you don't see anything except for the, the light sort of rebounding off of the walls. Hello. Oren tries to proceed towards the voice. Are you cold? He's like, Oren kind of checks himself and goes like, yeah. Like I'm, I'm a little cold. He's like, do you have a fire inside somewhere? I can't see anything. And he keeps trying to look around. I assume the place is dark. Yeah, like only your small little light spell is giving you any kind of illumination in here. Come forward. Like, um, Oren keeps going forward and he goes, my name's Oren. It's like, I don't know who you are. And he keeps trying to like find something, seeing anything in the darkness. Come forward. Uh, Orin continues. Give me a perception check with that minus six, please. <laughs> he just dies. A landmine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Landmines can destroy gorillas on the forest path. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Dunk, dunk. Yeah, roll the die. It was an eight on the die for a, even with the minus six is an eighteen total. As you as you, you continue forward into the darkness using your magical light, eventually you start traveling down different passages. Um, Though the walls sort of begin to branch off, but the voice calls to you, and. You, you're, you're being very attentive. The the coloration of the wall kind of goes from this grayish, uh, ro like shale rock to almost like a, um, it's like a strange color, um, like a peachish sort of color. Okay, or we'll follow it. Yeah. Um. Eventually, after a while, you notice the peachish color takes on a far a far redder tone and that's when Oren's perception notices something you notice that coming out of the walls as you get further and further down this path are small um jagged rocks that appear to be made out of some white mineral I can I roll a nature check or anything to figure yeah, out yeah please I say, thanks, Foundry. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for that. There we go. Add it minus six or normal? Yeah, minus six. That is a 14 with the minus six is a total of 26. That is enough for you to notice as you as you sort of peer at this. What you've walked into are rows upon rows of teeth. 
<laughs> he, he looks around and he goes, Oh. And he looks around and he looks Come up. closer. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll just... I, I, I gotta check something outside real quick. The orange starts slowly backing out. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. And the I'm good. wolves begin to constrict, slowly tightening runs. towards you. <laughs> yeah, runs. sure. You wanna you wanna give me another athletics check, there, boss? Oh uh, yeah, sir. Thank you, sir. for trying to kill my character in, his, in the flashback. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, the minus six is a five on the die. <laughs> With the minus okay. six is a ten. Okay, uh, you find yourself rushing forward, but like you're you're getting winded. This is this is taking you by surprise. You're not able to keep up pace. In fact, you have to pause for a moment, breathing heavily. Um, you're you're trying to find like a way to scramble up some of the rocks. You can see that these sort of white stones are chittering and chattering all around you, and then you find yourself managing to just jump over an escarpment as as like. The, the tunnel seems to like constrict and crush in front of you. Um, it sends you sprawling down if uh, basically like tumbling down a tunnel. This one has the same shale stone. Everything is now shaking around you as though the whole cave system and the mountain are moving. Um, and you find yourself tumbling, bruised, battered. Every part of you is getting hit. Um, and then you find you're outside. You've you've tumbled out of this this cave network and landed in what can only be described as something akin to a bird's nest, but on a larger scale. Uh, there are various uh, eggs that surround you. Uh, each of them about you know a foot in diameter, except for one of them, which is noticeably larger. Um, and sits off to the side and is perhaps five feet in size. I'm looking like it just has like this uh, surprise expression, like <gasps> you know, eyes all filled with stars as he's uh, surprised at it. And he's like, I haven't seen eggs this big before. And he kind of like plaps over to them and he kind of like, kind of like semi hugs the egg, just trying to like feel for it, see if it's warm or not. And, and as you as you like hug the egg, you you feel something tap from the inside, like a a thump, a resonant that you feel from where you're hugging it. Uh, can I um, roll a nature check to figure out uh, if it's hatching or is it just moving inside? Yeah, give me give me give me that sweet sweet nature check. At a minus six. Yeah, at a minus six. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I rolled a natural one. <laughs> it didn't matter. Such is life in the zone. <laughs> you have found, you have found yourself, your new best friend. It's a rock egg. The most mythical birds of the Fajal Mountains. <gasps> Wait, don't they eat people? They do. Like, Orin immediately <laughs> dives behind one of the other eggs. And as you do, the egg starts to shake. Like, like it, it misses you. Okay. It continues shaking violently, the sides of it starting to even chip in some places. And Orin's still hiding, thinking that it's about to burst out and eat him. He has nowhere else to go. And then you notice one of the eggs in front of you suddenly hatches. It bursts in front of you. And from the inside of this, this smaller egg, you see a, an avian creature, which, which would be the, the, the child, you know, version of a rock, one of these, these great predator birds. But, but, if, but if this egg is, is the, 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 the avian terror, then that larger egg must be something else, and the egg continues to shake. It's like, or not wanting to risk anything, it's like he'll try to hide behind the bigger egg, or at least kind of near the nest, hoping that the birds who are coming out won't immediately see him as food. Yeah, and so the little, the, these small birds, again, probably like a foot, um, 
they, 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 they begin to sort of like chirp around, uh, having broken out of their egg in this, you know, disgusting mucoid state. Uh, they all sort of form a little posse as more eggs begin to hatch, and they all start, you know, Aww. looking over at you as you take your, your cover behind the large egg. And, and almost instinctively, the large egg seems to like menacingly shake towards them cowing these uh these small avians back as though the 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 unhatched large egg is protecting you Orin. it's like Orin will come back around look at the, all the little uh birds things or so and it's like well i don't know what your mom is or anything and he kind of like kind of gestures around to see if the little birds will hurt him or not and as you gesture a vast shadow appears above you and you hear the caw of a large avian descending towards its nest. And then we find ourselves back in the manor, uh, having just left off where we were. Uh, 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 sorry about it. I, I fell asleep. All right. Guess I won't teach you the fundamentals of engineering. Then. Wait, I want to learn. <laughs> Orin comes up. Like, just tell me how to make bombs. That's not the important part about engineering. It's knowing how to use them and on what... Fuck, just forget it. You just put it on the bad guys, right? No. I like just, the one that sticks to them and it burns. Yeah, and so do I, but that's not the point. Uh, just forget it. I'll tell you another time. All Speaking, right. He's going to round the corner and, and look over here. You done as bleeding yet, guys? As fascinating as your engineering lesson was, unfortunately, no, we have not stopped bleeding. Well, I'm not a healer. He steps out of the way and lets Orin go in. Ten hours will turn and look at the two other healers. Do either of you have any resources left, or should we tend to the potions we brought along? Oh, I, I still have my worms. And he brings out the really big worm that wiggles. I could always oh, yeah. try a little bit of the razzmatazz on my end, too. I also do have a couple of spells left. I do want to be cautious of how we use them. I'm not sure as if we will get another chance to recover what we've lost before. Uh, before mm. something like looking over the corpses appears. Give me a perception, Shepard, Hua. Okay. That's a 19 to die for 35. Yeah, uh, as you, like, look over at the, the corpses that have been left out here, these sort of skin-stitched constructs, um, you can tell that one of them seems to have had something stabbed into its back, like a, a piece of paper that's been somehow adhered to its back. Uh, like where is it? It's like Sorry, a scrap of like a like a like a page from a larger book. Huh. Uh, Rahul will go over to one of the skin stitches with the parchment perforating it. Yeah. Uh, you can see there's about like two paragraphs and a sentence uh, written in script on the back of it. Is it? Do I do I know the language? Is it written in? Yeah, it's written in common. I would like to read what is on the, the page. There is, uh, and just in case uh, you hate reading, uh, uh, hypertext uh, or you know fancy treated text. Haha! <laughs> there you go. Don't worry, I'm reading it just okay. Good. I've seen many a doctor's prescription before. Yeah. Just so we don't <laughs> read the rest of it, Thurston, because we can see all the entry notes. Uh, entry one text is what you want to read. Yeah. Only that one. I yeah. see. My latest alchemical treatise has found supporters within the medics guild. Bro, who is just reading aloud at this point? As well as with several astute nobles and members of the assembly. The time has come. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, wait. Try it again. Holy God. What the Hold heck? on. Uh, Do you mean with disappearing it? <laughs> the okay. Bro, it says here. It says here. It's okay. I learned a couple scribbles in my time. Uh, it says here, the time has come for the recognition of my uh, of my many discoveries in the field. If only my beloved wife were... Who? What's a wife? I don't know, Orin. 
I'm not familiar with a with a wife. Orin turns to um Davina. What's a wife? What's a wife? Yeah, this word, and he kind of points to the to the script. Well. Oh, sorry, I said script. What? Sorry, everything's pre-recorded <laughs> in this live. The piece of paper. <laughs> the piece of paper. Wham. Sorry, reveal this live stream. That's always live. Here on Twitch.tv forward slash narrative Ever. declaration on the YouTube channel. Wink. <laughs> I, Wink I'm definitely nudge. right here, right now. Not in your walls. Uh, well, I mean, do you know what marriage is? Do your people have the the concept of marriage? A what? Do two people get together and pledge themselves to be together for the rest of their lives? Ah, this is what? taking too long. What do you mean together? Gonna... <laughs> Ted Houser's gonna reach up and grab the paper. <laughs> um. <laughs> After years of attempting to curry some matter of respect, it would seem that I finally succeeded. Though there are only minor interest in funding at this time, it appears that some level of introspection on this city's ruling class when it comes to their prohibitions against the exploration of the nature of the rot. Well, Vina, at this point, you're the only one that hasn't read from it, so... And I'll hand her the last line. I was I was trying to delay for Thurston to get the text back so I could hand it back to her. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I thought we were doing a bit where we would all read a bit of it. Oh no, um, we'll, we'll, we'll make uh, it happen. I was mistaken. Uh, I, I'm, mm. I'm gonna just turning the paper in my hands, looking at it, squinting at it, buying time for Thurston. It should have been good. Uh, one sec, yeah. one sec. Please show it to me end. again. It works fine on my machine. There you go. There we go. Okay. It's back. This is this is terrific <laughs> content. Exactly. Quality uh, content. This yeah, is the well, that's why you watch us live, because live shows are great. This is the first step of what I hope will be many interesting... How old does this note look? Like, how... When he says this is the first step, has this oh, been done recently, or... Wait. Someone in chat says, the show is live, Lurkin says, the lantern blocks the text. What if I, what if I do this, and then I put it here? Does that work? Oh no! You no. read it now. There I you moved go. it now. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! No, no, no! You've got to like move it work? in the center. Oh, you've sorry. Got to move it Over in the here? center. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that work? Yeah. <laughs> this is like this is the this is the here, stream this equivalent the of area. moving. This is the stream equivalent of moving a couch. All right, turn it a little. Turn it a little to the left. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> Sorry, we're we're having a laugh. Don't worry, we're not we're yeah, not making fun yeah. of you. You're good. It's, we're, <laughs> You're we're, good. We're, it's a good criticism. We're doing oh, here stuff. This is fun. This is fun. So yeah, pivot it. Oh, yeah. See, chat, chat's got it. Pivot it, Zorin. You've got to pivot it. Pivot it. Got to pivot it. We'll get it through this door, Zorin. Yeah, I'm gonna hand it to Tanhauser. How old does this parchment look to you? How old do you suspect these experiments are? If these are the first step of many. Well, it's hard to tell, but I'm more interested in who this handwriting could belong to. Um, being someone that is uh, relatively uh, well-informed about the going-ons of the city, uh, having uh, probably done some scouting work, um, could mm -hmm. I potentially roll society to see if I could recognize the handwriting as anyone of note or import? Yeah, sure. You can uh, you can give me a give me a check. Uh, excellent. That was a twenty-seven. Uh, it's definitely like noble script. This would have been written by someone who has like a, a noble background. Um, I mean, certainly it would stand to reason that someone with affiliations with the medic guild, so possibly someone in the you know Declund family, perhaps. Um, and the paper doesn't look especially old. Um, yeah, like this. This certainly looks like it's it's older. Uh, you can't quite pinpoint the exact uh, amount of time, but I mean, like within the la like possibly over thirty to forty, maybe even older than that. It's possibly thirty years old. <laughs> Chances are, if this was the first step, we're far beyond it now. Hmm. Well, shit. You think it was Grandpappy's doing? And if there are more of these things protecting his bedside? The more recent ones, even? Mm. 
Such things are not just possible, they're probable. You've seen the kind of freaks roaming about this mansion. Do we feel good enough to continue is the question. Of we course could. we're not retreating. I but figure. we should restore our wounds. More seeing if we could potentially, now that these rooms are cleared out, sort of make camp if possible. Um, is that a practical idea? Probably not. <laughs> well, remember, one of them is missing a door as well. Yeah. This is true. Yeah, I don't I don't know if setting up camp inside of the evil rot infested mansion is a good idea until like uh like a floor is cleared out because even We've the paintings have been trying to kill us. Very true. Well, um it seems like staying in this I should be saying this in character. <clears throat> It seems as if staying in this place is enough to wreck the sanity of others. We shouldn't tempt fate, I think. Fair enough. Shouldn't rest then... for more than an hour at a time. In that case, let's finish combing this floor and... see if we run into anything. Mm -hmm. and then we move upward. Uh, do our glorious healers have any resources to expend on we three orange-hued folk? Oh, I can get you all healed up. Uh, I can either... also assist with that. Yeah, it's probably not as good as you, but slot. like we could spend spell slots, but that's spending a spell slot. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Or I can start doing first aid on everybody, but that will acquire time for each person. So at that point, we might as well take a long break and do that anyway. Yeah. I could I, battlefield I, medicine everybody, but I think I've only done that to one person technically. But then you're going to be immune for a good bit. Um. Yeah. You know what? Maybe we should just take a rest. Um. Mm, in the evil, I, in the evil sanctum. I would say we could just use up our resources for now and see how far that takes us before we like make camp TM. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't have to long rest. I mean, long resting is for losers, so... <laughs> of course! <laughs> exactly! Can I... Uh, this is, again, I know we, we really were highly against fanning out and doing things because it's a bad idea. Can I, while they are resting, look around? I'm not going to engage with anything. At the first sign of trouble, I will depart back. But can I sneak around using that stealth that I have? Yeah, absolutely you can. I want to clear that with the party, first and foremost, because well, the, last, be... the last couple times it's been brought up, it's like, no, don't do that, don't split the party, and it's like, well, fuck. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't it be more uh, fortuitous for you to do that with um, uh, backup? Well, that defeats the purpose of scouting if you guys are right there. I don't well, know, but... Far, it should be okay, and it's probably better because he has the the high stealth, and so he would be able to look around without getting caught, and then we could follow up when he finds something. Yeah, my, rather my than goal us is trying not to, to sneak as a as a train. Mm -hmm. My goal is not to be a dousing rod, and then I just blunder into the situation. My goal is to look around and come back with the surface level material that I get to determine. Hey, is this a good idea? Should we go this way? Do we want to keep moving? On? That's, That's kind of what I, I want to do. I definitely see the utility. I just also know that this is a house with paintings that cause you to have your mind collapse in on itself. Well, the, yeah. the, the, the trick is that's worked out for me beautifully so far. Because yeah, I have told Thurston enforced. very expressly you know I'm not looking at any paintings. Thurston? Just don't leave the floor. Is there, a, yep. is there a serving bell anywhere instead of this room? Can I do a perception check to try to find one? You know, like somebody would have like the help or something or like a butler or something. <laughs> the help. Yeah. Yeah, um, for sure. Actually, there 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 is one, um, just noted notably by like the entrance, sort of on the the wall to the southeast of you. Oren takes the bell and heads mm -hmm. over to Baldrick. He goes, "Here goes Mr. Baldrick. Think of this as the uh oh bell. If you get in trouble, just ring the bell, and we sh it should be sharp enough for all to like hear it. And we'll come over to you if you run the trouble as you sneak around." And he kind of hands the bell to Baldrick. Not a bad idea. Uh, so I'm just being offered the bell to just take yeah. along? All right, yeah. yeah. He'll, 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 he'll just wordlessly take it and 
put it somewhere where it won't ringling and give him away. Yeah, it's, okay. it's for like, oh no, I've been spotted. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> you know, yeah. and, Very and, and it's got to be like a loud bell to reach the whole mansion too. Yeah. You know, for call for service and stuff. So it'll be the efficient. The downside enough. is is that if you ring it, if it's loud enough for us to hear, it's loud enough for everyone else to hear. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, the, but they I'm won't... sure the spooky thing knows we're here. I think I know what I think I know what Zoran's getting at though is that to what other things a bell is just a bell. Mm. If they hear someone shout for help, though, they know what that is specifically. Yeah. The bell could just be like I leave the bell somewhere, and then it's like ah, it was a bell. It moved here. Mm. Yeah. It's an option. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it, and yeah. So, are, am I good to go scout a little bit and look around while y'all rest up? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, go for it. And I'll heal people. Everyone okay, so where are you guys going to be resting? Um, we're we're, we're not going to be long resting. We're just going to be healing up here. Yeah, hold up. Sorry. Go ahead, speaker. Yeah. So are so are we are just want a point of order because I thought that we were resting and then I thought that we were healing. Are we resting or are we just healing? We're healing. It okay, still takes well, time to do that. Okay. Well, if we're if we're just healing, then why don't we just island behind you? It, because it, it takes still time. Takes, yeah. It takes time to do that. Is this yeah. in, in, so, in order to do it for with expending? Oh right, right. Okay, no, no, I understand. I thought that we were using spell slots. My bad. Okay. Never no. Mind. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saving, saving yeah. those for combat engagement. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Thurston. Uh, I'm gonna move into this hallway adjacent to me, to the left here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to move down. Now, before I engage with anything, do I see any? Do I see any paintings? Uh, no, no, no paintings on the walls here. Um, just some like some some portraits, but they aren't. They don't have any like faces or anything on them. They're more he, landscapes and whatnot. He will continue to try and pay no mind to them as best he can. He is going to keep his eyes focused okay. straight forward. Sure. Uh, and I'm going to engage stealth. I'm going to roll stealth. Stealth? Stealth? Stealth, yeah. Stealth? Roll. Stealth? I rolled what F? A critical one. I Ooh, love beautiful. this game okay. so much. Uh, mm, uh, excellent. Uh, excellent. Yeah, I should yeah. just, I ne just never try anything. This is, the, this is what I'm learning. Imme <laughs> okay. Immediately told to fuck off by the game. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Cool. Um, All right, I critically fail. So uh, let me uh, let me let me find a thing from our dear uh, dear, dear patrons here. Uh, Chad, this, yeah. is, this is the moral: when you think you can do something cool, never do it. Never do it. Video games don't want you to. Mm hmm. Excellent. Let's go with this one. This one's a good one. Thanks, Neo Spectre. It's Tell just called one. the Inspector Clouseau. Terrific. Uh, while attempting a physical action, in this case stealth, uh, the the user cartoonishly stumbles over their own feet. Stumbling forward, in this case, I will say you stumble through the doorway. Yep. Uh, kind of sending through. sending you into this hall. You sort of like stumble in your attempts to to not uh, touch or do anything. Eventually, you have to to brace yourself uh, on a doorway some, you know, 20 feet through the hall. You're kind of like stumbling, trying not to knock anything, look at any of the paintings. Your your attempts in order to, you know, not engage with, with some of the stuff here have just caused you to sort of lose orientation. You come to the end, you manage to grab onto the door. The door opens up to reveal a bathroom, and inside the bathroom, there is another sort of spectral figure who stands there. This sort of undead spectral figure uh, stands there. They are they are garbed similar to the figure you saw out in the um, out in the, the sort of the courtyard. Uh, they are standing there holding a spectral towel as you look into what appears to be a washroom um, with a small sink in front of you and then closed off stalls. Terrific. I have stumbled into the restroom, and I have found this man standing here, the spectral skeletal guy. Uh, Baldrick is, I'm presuming, upended near the door. He's, like, mm -hmm. kind of fold over, so he's going, to, with his hand on the door, he is going to gently close it. Sure. 
And Thurston. Yes. I would like to use my one respec point to not be in use stealth ever again. I have decided I'm going to re-roll my character. Okay, <laughs> understood. We will do I've that up, during our break. Up, I've given up on using it. I don't want to do it anymore. All right. Uh, all right, that being done. That being done, you can see that the hallway sort of extends down uh, for a for a good way, about another uh, 40 feet or so. There is a, a door that leads further north to this sort of back-end hallway. The walls here uh, don't have any portraits on them. Um and in fact, it just appears to be a very plain wooden hall, though the, the far end uh, wall seems to end with a stone facade rather than a wood facade. So there's stone here rather than wood. Terrific. I'm going to try and stealth again and actually enter stealth this time and not do that. Okay. So I'm going to try that again. Sure. <sighs> it's a three. It's a three. Okay. Okay. A sure. Yeah. All right. Why are you rolling right. dice you, like you have that? two hero points. Uh, uh yeah, you know, Thurston, I'm going to get the 5%, so I'll go ahead and re-roll that with a hero point. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, Excuse me, I only one. need one? Thank you. Nah, nah, it'll be a two. No, I don't think so. I'm going to re-roll that with a hero point. Six. Okay. Twenty-three. It's, it's better. It's double what you had before. Um. Yeah. Okay. So you were you were taking your your best to 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 be you know stealthy as you approach the door. Yeah, I'm sure I'm stealthy. I get up to the door and I'm gonna approach it from the side and just quietly open it up. Okay. Is there what? What is the what is the mechanism by which this door opens? By the way? Uh, this door just has a, a a like metal a brass handle that you can turn and and open. It seems to open inwards, so towards like the the room you're opening. In that case, uh, I push it in slightly, and I I just kind of like lean my head like near the crack in the door, just so I can see what I'm looking into in the next room. Like not the full room, just like a hint of what it is. Okay, I'm not going to open the door then. Yeah. Um, but what you what you get a sense of from the the small amount you can peer open is a wooden floor that um, is, is fairly long, probably about again twenty feet back. So it goes from where you are to about like the door to the bathroom you just passed by, um, about. 20-ish feet in, oh, ahead is a desk on which there's some papers and a, and a book. You get a sense this room is very large, though. Okay, so I will not go rooting around in that room. I'm just here to try and find out what these rooms are. And there's nothing at the end of this hallway. Just the stone wall. Stone wall. I move up to inspect the stone wall. Okay. Is it just uh, a wall? Can I do anything to assess the wall? You can give me an engineering check. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to engineer the shit out of this wall. Sure. I'm going to roll engineering lore gives you a 24. Uh, you can tell that this is the same stone that was used on the outer facade of the building. Okay, so there's just this, if I, on the other side of this would presumably just be the outside. Something outside, yeah. Okay, that's good then. Hmm. In that case, he's going to retreat back. And I'm not going to explore the bathroom because there's nothing of value in the bathroom. I'm not even going to bother. None of us have to shit, so, you know, kind of pointless. Fair. But it's good that it's there. It lets us know that this house was designed by mortal beings and not weirdos, because what immortal being needs a restroom? <laughs> but that use done with i'm gonna just return to the party I, all right I, uh, my, my my urge to try and do something has been thoroughly quashed all right uh well let's go back to the party then what are the the so, so all of you were sort of taking an opportunity to heal up zarn you want to run the uh point on the healing here yeah do you want to just summarize and save time we'd be like first aid and get everybody yeah up yeah, yeah 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 so um because I could, I could just keep rolling with the ten-minute, one-hour breaks if we wanted, and 
everything yeah else so i'm just I, I, what i'm what i'm trying to get a sense is roughly how long like based off of i'm just checking vena here um let's see yeah, so mm, probably two or three hours to get everybody back up to full yeah i can spend 10 minutes uh treating one injured living creature all that other stuff so it'll be 10 minutes yeah. for each person yeah uh including myself so i could roll for each one if you want uh, let's do the first one real quick, and then we'll kind of take the results from that just okay. to speed it up a bit. All right, I'm going to do natural medicine with my goop. A plus this, on? 20. this is going to be on Tannhauser first. Yay! Hey. That's a 37, and... Crit. Woo -woo. Yep, that'll be a crit -a rooney That'll be 48 plus 10. Mm -hmm. Then with my healer's gloves... I think that's technically how it is because it only does for medicine checks. <laughs> so I don't think I get the bonus. So we're not going to worry about that. So it'll be 4d8. Wait, 4d8. Oh, that's right. I have the entire interface and found you for this. Plus 10. Yeah. That's 22. Because I rolled two ones on two eights. All right. All right. All right. So I will heal Tannhauser for that. All right, roll for Rahua. All right, 48 plus... Oh, that's right. You have to do medicine check again. Sorry. Yep. Yes, it's important. We'll yes. I'll say why in Here a second. Here you go, Rahua. Eat this worm. <laughs> Very good worm. Nom, 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 nom. All right, that is 28. I think that is... Are you in DC? It's 15 or... Oh, well, yep. I'm expert. Okay, okay, that'll be good for that. That'll be 31. Cool. Uh, do Vina for me, please. Vina, do you want to eat this worm? Hell yeah, man. I love that worm. Oh, man. Wow. Tequila. That's a good worm. Yeah, that's <laughs> a 39. Sweet. Roll that heals. That crit heals. Okay, plus 10. Hell yeah. Vita gets a 35. Ew. Sweet. And then yourself. All right, babe. We can just put myself to fool. I mean, it's fine. And I, I want to see if you natural one and kill yourself. You oh, know, it's very oh. funny. I rolled a natural one. Stop. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Yeah. Excellent. I, I, good. I said you said I'm like, good. it's happening. I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel the, I feel First the demon really push good. the die. We are, we are living in America. Now mm -hmm. it's like it's like mm -hmm. oh man, I'm glad everybody I'm glad I'm glad everyone's got patched up and all. Man, I really want to eat one of these worms though. And so he takes one out and he kind of gets all just like you know like he's salivating. He's like he's been looking forward to this all day. And he takes one big bite of the worm. Uh yeah, and you're like oh nom 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 um. Sorry, I'm trying to find to find a good a good complication here. Um, oh gosh. Okay, 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 okay. So you, you. Uh, let's go with this one. I like this one. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Uh, this is from uh, Doctor Gumpy. Uh, it's entitled Old wounds so as you're like tempting to heal yourself an old injury in your in your wooden arm starts to flare up like a, a sort of phantom pain um so do damage to yourself okay. suffer a we I take, I take one d8 damage yeah you on do a, on a critical failure on a healing <laughs> or treat right. check. i take four take four and you're also clumsy one until i say otherwise <laughs> As you cut up this this just old terrible wound in your in your in your arm. Ow. Like, I have no bed for this. No. <laughs> and that's when that's when Baldric comes back. Yeah, well, he's, he's he's wiping off his shoulder like it wasn't anything, and obviously nobody else saw what happened, so he's good. And uh <laughs> roll me a, roll me one more medicine check, please, Orin. Okay. That's a natural 20. There's the nat 20. There you go. Okay, so now roll healing for yourself. Crit healing. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. That's a 30. 30. All right. 
So it takes two hours, but you manage to heal all of your companions back up. Excellent. Damn, I, I, it took me two hours to walk down that uh, that corridor. Well, assumedly you've come back during that. In the first, like, minute. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah, but you were... Like they're... Sorry, continue. Yeah, you're you're all restored up and like very very much um, good good to go now. You feel like you've you've managed to restore everyone. You've got everyone back up to to, to, to high heels. Um, at this point, you can discuss how you want to proceed here. All right. So from what I've gathered from looking around, there's a big room at the end. We ignore the room on the left. That's just a washroom. Nothing really of value there. Uh, but there's a large room on the other side of the door at the very back. The reason I didn't go in was because it was a large place, and I figured it would be a smarter idea to approach that as a group. Huh. Like a big ballroom or something? Mm, close. There's some uh, bookshelves and other kinds of things that I saw. Didn't take a too close look. Was really just looking to get in and out. Figured there'd be more back there. Not as much as I thought. Hmm. Well, that seems as good a place as any. Might as well clear this bottom floor before we keep going upward. Well, at least now we know where to go to wash our hands. You know what? Very true. Very true. Or she's gonna get up. Still got her like, uh, like uh, spa day with Orin mud mask on. <laughs> right. Orin looks down at his hands covered in mud, and he looks at uh, Tannhauser and Baldrick. Like, could you guys show me to the washroom? I want to wash my hands. Yes, yes. Baldrick, show us to the washroom. Orin needs to wash his hands. Yeah, I feel dirty. Out there touching you all. Aww. It's just first, first, first room uh, at the bottom of the hallway to the left. The haunted hallway or the normal hallway? I think it's the is where I th are there non haunted hallways in here? I don't know. I only watched Casper. The one up there wasn't haunted. It was just fine. All right, come on, let's go. And I'm gonna uh, show Oren. We go. <laughs> or just flaps with little bird feet. Yeah, like, is it in here? Oh, no, dude, that's the, the restroom. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, he was looking Baker? for the restroom. All right, Orin will, or will open the door. No, we said it was. I said it, it was you, the restroom. Don't do that. Yeah, that's where Orin wanted to go. Yeah, <laughs> gotta wash Horrible, his hands. Don't. Wash his hands. Horrible. Don't wash your don't. hands. We yeah, live in, uh, you we live you in open it. Ages. You can see the sort of incorporeal skeletal attendant standing there, holding these sort of semi-corporeal um, towels. Uh. Oh, he seems friendly. And Orin goes right in and starts washing his hands. Pretty much, as soon as <laughs> a sink thing and everything else. And then after he's done washing his hands, uh, he brings his hand over to the skeleton. Uh. Or the spectral person, rather. The spectral skeletal figure offers you a spectral towel. Or goes out to reach out for it. Do I get it? Uh, yeah, you, your hand like goes through it, and like even though you can't like touch it or interact, the second you touch it, it's like a sheen of frost goes over your hands, and all uh. of all of the dampness from from using the sink in here evaporates instantly. Your hands are perfectly dried. Oh, uh, you've never had such a good feeling hand drying experience in your life. Um, you will gain a plus one circumstance bonus on all checks until I say otherwise. Oh, Damn. it's like, th it's like, thanks, man. Or will take a, a, a silver from his from his little pocket. Like he'll take out his money pouch, mm -hmm. open it up and go, <laughs> and he'll like give like a silver, like put a silver to him. He's like, thanks, man. And like as you like like place the silver down, it seems to like disappear and go into the creature's uh, form. I was like, "We'll see you later." <sighs> Close the door. I was like, "Really nice guy in there." <laughs> well, how was how was your first ever experience washing your hands? It was amazing. This is how normal people are. Yes. This is what it's like to I be can, normal. I, when I touch things, stuff don't get left behind. He starts touching the walls and starts touching, like, Tannhauser's face. Tannhauser will allow this. Yes, there are many benefits to hygiene. 
and some look, and he holds up his hand. Well, I'm a bad example, actually. Uh, Vali! Why are your hands so red? Because they're and, covered. And Tannhauser, he kind of hits Tanner. It's Vina! I what? Vina! Show us your hands! I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold up my hand. <laughs> Vina holds up her hands, and you hear the, the adventures of Flapjack. <laughs> I grab yeah. Vina's hand I point at one of her nails You'll notice there isn't any dirt under here Oh Well, well actually, I thought oh, I chipped my manicure I thought I gave my hands like like texture and stuff And it's also where I store my Healy stuff No that will That is under bad nails? That will kill you I think Really? Uh, maybe just makes your hands kind of gross. I don't know if it'll kill you, but I mean, it's possible. I wonder if a man has ever died because the hands were simply too gross. I don't know, but I'd like to think that someone has died other than the person with dirty hands. Ah, what if somebody carrier. died because their hands were too clean? Yes. Well, that that's called that's when you cut off someone's hand. You've you've amputated them. In a manner of speaking. So true, bestie. Anyway, about that ballroom. All right, yes, we're supposed to be in the haunted mansion. Uh, we will uh, proceed forward. I think, was, wasn't our plan originally to go downstairs rather than upstairs? Uh, it was upstairs, because they said uh, when we were talking to the uh, assassin that we need to go up, and then it will lead us down. Okay. That the corridor to get to uh, Grand Pappy Declan... Uh, is up and then down. Sounds yes, but funny. I'm of the I'm of the school of thought of leave no stone unturned. Yes. And I found a place. And Where's Rahua? You know, after that first boss battle, somewhere. Where we just like were given a bunch of resources in the dungeon that we didn't use. I think I think that's a learning experience for us. I've never learned anything. What? <laughs> <laughs> Zorin, Zorin, give 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 Vina a hero point. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she doesn't do anything. Yeah. She doesn't do anything. She's at three now. Yeah. She, has the, she said the magic words, <laughs> which is learning from our. Which is learning something. Yeah, exactly. You learned. You get rewarded. Yay! Gold star. Heck yeah! I don't believe in that sort of thing. <laughs> I mean, that's a you problem. All right, swing it open, Tanny. Let's let's see what we got in there. You, oh, you got it. I swing it open, and I okay. So as you do, um, oh, no. you see that the interior is a large library. Um, it is about eight large bookshelves that are arrayed sort of facing one another. There are sta like stacks of um, books and papers that have been left to fall on the ground. There's a door immediately opposite the one that you've entered in from. There are two reading desks to the western edge as well as another doorway. A uh, section along the uh, the like the walls here are all wooden. You can see all of that as you come in here. So this is sort of an enclosed room. Um, but as you sort of kick open the door, well, not kick open, but as you open the door and step in, you can certainly feel that there is like a chill in the air here, Tannhauser. Um, and you sort of like step in to, to take a look at things. But as you do so... Um, something something seems off about this space and you just can't place what it is yet perhaps a uh, quick detect magic might um yeah sure so I'll uh, send out some detect magic pulses and I'll okay. also clear the way for my uh, allies to enter sure something strange about this place prepare yourself for anything uh, while he's doing that, I would like to make a perception and do, uh, floor-based trap-checking, Thurston. Okay. Hey, can I do perception for ceiling-based traps? Absolutely. Um, yeah, if you want, you can all make 
Or roll a four for a total of 20. I uh, rolled yeah. a 10 for a total of 20. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So for some it. reason, my perception's not very good. I don't know why. It's the bucket uh, helmet. Bina. Narrow field of vision. Yeah. Uh, a 30 from Bina. Feature from 29 Bina. from Rehua. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, sick. One sec. As, as I look around, I find a book, uh, and it's saying, like, the glory of democracy, and I start reading it or so, and I'm like, Mr. Tannhauser, look, look, you can, we could, like, assemble, like, a group of people, you know, and then we can, we can vote on things together. Yes. Now we're then, getting the idea. And then, and then we could, it, it's kind of like a council meeting, and then we could have different representation for the stuff, it, it's... Is this is this what you want, Mister Tanhauser? Something like that. Tanhauser, give me a perception check. All right, very good. <laughs> I will happily give a perception check. That is a twenty, but not natural. It's just normal. It's very okay. Sad. Cool. 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 Um. All right. So, as you were saying this, I require will saves from the following uh individuals in the room uh from Oren, baldrick and tanhauser all righty then yeah oh in 30 i don't just find his manga shelf there's like danger in here aha yeah. a 17 excellent and holy friggin crap lois baldrick and Oren. Yeah. Give me, give me perception. Oh, sorry, oh, yeah, will save. saves. Yeah, will oh, saves. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Oh, you asked for them. My bad. You got 13 uh, for a total of 29. Cool. And Baldrick. Will save. Yeah. Um, I think you will find I will actually be making a stealth check. Mm, no. I make a 19. Hey. Okay. Uh, excellent. All right, so you you all enter into into this space. Um, as you do so, there are a couple of things that are happening. So, just gonna put you into combat mode here for no apparent reason. Uh, that would be silly. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. Put a, Put a person there and put a person oh! there for no apparent reason. I'm just going to do this. Uh -oh. Not these um, guys, I'm just going to really quickly do some little, 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 little encountery things here. Hope everyone's having a good time. It's nice to, to hang out with y'all here as we, hey, Bob, we, we have ourselves some uh, fun. You know. forward an hour. In. No, well, you know. Skip ahead five minutes. I'm going to be dumping my arsenal on these two because I am not in the mood for their shenanigans right now. Yeah. I critically <laughs> failed a stealth check. I'm livid. I'm going to shit thunder and fury on them. Yeah, so so also audio uh, users, I've put two tokens onto the the map uh, right in front of our, our companions that resemble the... Uh, the, the individuals who broke into Baldrick's house previously, um, which is, you know, quite a quite quite a dangerous um, little little host of folks here. Um, all that being said, I'm just going to update some initiatives here and then I'm just going to, you know, roll some initiatives here for no apparent reason. Um, so, yeah, as you as you enter into this space, um, I'll just make this public here now. Uh, as you enter into this space, you can see that the two individuals have materialized in front of you. Um, like Tannhauser, you were sort of having this conversation with Oren as both of you were fanning out to different areas in this large library area. I should indicate like the space itself is huge. It's about 40 feet by like 25 feet, a large rectangular space. Tannhauser, you've sort of like appeared a bit forward and sort of are looking around. Um, things are going, going, going on. Vina, you get to take the first go here. What are you doing as these figures appear in front of you? I'm going to say, oh, shit. Uh, and I'm going to, um, or on, on first glance, do they look, uh, like they're being fucked with, like our friend at the front, or do they look hostile? 
Uh, they have appeared directly beside yourself and Baldric, and then between Baldric and um, Tannhauser. They have their their blades out, so they still they both have their blades out. They're held up kind of in an attacking gesture. All right. Assuming that means hostile, I assume mm-hmm. that's not a friendly gesture. So yeah. I'm going to very quickly. Uh, I'm going to tumble through. I'm going to get some panache. I'm just going to roll forward and back because I'm in a pretty decent flanking position. Here, forward actually. and back. Forward, forward and, and back. back and, and forward, forward and back. back. Forward and back. Yeah. One foot forward. Uh, Ooh, numbers that's are not great. Uh, I'm assuming a 22 doesn't do it. Uh, well, a 22 in this instance. Yeah, you're going to get your panache from that. Sick nasty. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The help uh, you out in the future, Odo. Uh, uh-huh. What action are you doing again? Like to tumble through them or so? Uh, acrobatics. Yeah, to tumble through. Yeah. Yeah, so, so to tumble through. Uh, do me a favor. Open up your character sheet to control space. Type tumble mm-hmm. through and drag that onto your action thing. And so whenever you do it and you can target them, you can do all that math for you automatically. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Just for future oh. reference. So. Could, you, could you test it now so we can see what it looks like? Yeah, so sure. so basically uh, when you do tumble through, uh, I'll show you how it works for the I'm action thing. Just now. Yeah, it's like it's like it kind of popped in my head. I'm just like, I could do this uh, better so for you. So it's in the uh, actions. actions. Yeah, and actions when you drag it, at? you drag it into the actions area. So it should already be in there. Watch. Yeah. Regardless, though, you can um, you basically uh, click it. Or pretty much when you have that and you look into it, there'll be an acrobatics button. Just target whoever you want to tumble through, click that, and it'll do all that math for you in Foundry. Oh, sick. Yeah. It's like you're targeting and attacking them with that ability. So in chat there, uh, you'll see attempt an acrobatics check. Target the guy you want and click that. Yeah. Nice. Learn something new about Foundry every day. There you go. And it says success. Yeah. Oh, sick. All right. Cool. Thank you. Uh, let's, let's finish this guy. Sure. Uh, does hit? No. Uh, that'll actually be a critical. Oh, it will. Yeah. Oh my God. Critical hit. It must be made of vapor. Critical shit. Oh my God. 47 points of damage. You do this like perfectly executed strike on, on this figure. Give me a will save. Why? Just do it. (laughs) Why? 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 Oh, that's Why? Awesome. Cool. You you execute this perfect strike on this figure. It kind of like staggers back slightly. Oh, all right. Cool. We're we're feeling good. We're feel. I'm knocking on wood. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. and I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to do another little tumble through. I'm going to sure. do a funny little backflip. Uh, yep. and let's do it with the, the, the funny new way Zorin showed me how to do it. Right? Yeah. Oh, my God. My God. What? Do what? it. Do it. Uh, there you go. And it does you regain sense. some panache as you weave oh. and duck and weave and duck. Yeah, just awesome. uh, just uh, doing a little dancey dance around this yeah. guy, having a good time. I am in no pain. I am so yeah. healed. Uh, I've already forgotten about Alpha Busa. Rahua, you're up. Alpha Busa does not exist. <laughs> I scarcely believe that Alpha Busa could exist. That might be the medication talking. Mm-hmm. You would not believe your eyes. Mm-hmm. A merciful God would not allow us to live in a world where Alpha Busa exists. So true. true. Uh, let's see. I would love to shoot in this one right there. Yep. With an Arnarchy Barrage. Do it up. The spell does not exist. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? There it is. Wow. Well, that will hit. Roll me that damage. Here's some damage. I don't really, really want to punch him and then get my shit pushed in. I assume, I assume you send walls of books. The books smash into the figure, uh, like created from from whatever uh, anarchic realm of the fundamental battlefield, smashing and causing the figure's head to bounce around. Can you give me a will save, please, Rahua? Okay. I will not make the save, I assume. 
with 21. You rolled a 21. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, you, you, you feel like you're, 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 you're getting like a ton of good hits on this individual. That's two actions. What are you doing with your last one? Uh, my last action, since I don't think I can shoot my arm around the corner of this door frame and smack the one next to Baldrick. Ah, uh, you can. You absolutely can. Oh, cool. I, I'm, I'm glad I have stretchy powers now. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, it's like it's just gonna get cover. Is all. Yeah. Uh, map minus five. Yep. Do it up. Let's see what happens. No. <laughs> no, your 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 pick goes wide, crashing into the side there. I'm just blindly punching through the wooden paneling. Yeah. <laughs> Where have we seen that? You're before? in here somewhere, I'm sure. All right, Baldrick, you're up. All right, Thurston. Yep. I'm getting the distinct feeling that something is not quite right. Okay. I'm trying to think about what the hell I, as a simple, mundane, human and being, can do as an action of sorts. Uh, why why are what? you feeling something's not right? Well, given the fact that, and this is this may be like, it's, it's partially meta and partially I would see that, yeah, Vina's attack was definitely a lot more vicious than usual, and this guy suffered it very easily compared to, like, equivalent things in the past. This is my assertion on that. Baldrick would have noticed that these guys are getting hit pretty hard and pretty easily at that mm -hmm. compared to the guys that we fought in my fucking house mm -hmm. and ostensibly look the same. Baldrick is a little suspicious about what, how these guys, A, just randomly appeared in between us, and B, why is it that we are currently laying into them with rather high damage while they have done not too much? Okay. So I'm kind of curious what I would be able to roll for that. Would I do, like, a recall knowledge? Uh, not, like... I I mean, what what exactly are you trying to suss out? Though? Like, I'm trying the, to suss out there. I suppose just for my own sake, because I can't really be like I have deduced that you are not real. It's I would like to maybe like find out their hit points. Okay, yeah. Uh, the like in that case, you can give me a perception check here. I think that'd be the the best check. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I roll it. Uh, it's a twenty three. Yeah, um, you're you're attempting to perceive. You can tell that they're they're like very moving very woodenly, like they aren't as spry or nimble as the ones you saw previously. Uh, almost as though they're in some kind of like torpor effect, perhaps. Very stiff, then. Yes, that would be one action, though. Can I? This is, this is difficult for me to do because like I'm in combat. I can't exactly just do this, but can I? Do a medicine check to see if they're even alive. Um, I mean, like they're they're animate and moving. It's just that they're stiff. Like you can tell they 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 got blood pumping. Like they don't look like corpses or anything like that. Okay, so that's something I don't have to check for. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. Would I be able to determine their hit points? I suppose. Um, like you can tell that the one like between you and Vina is taking a, a good chunk, probably like in the quarterish range. If you were to guess, they've taken a solid hit. They just aren't, like, overreacting to it. Hmm. Call me crazy. Can mm -hmm. I look up at, like, anything that may be above them? Yeah, I sure. I'm um, feeling that nothing is... Uh, you're you're not seeing anything above them. That there's... Above there's them. No. Very odd. I'm I'm regrettably not well versed in the means of trying to suss this out. I'm not a magical character, so I can't check it. But I guess Baldrick will sort of let slip. Something doesn't feel right about this. Okay. And he'll he'll mention that, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm Got going two actions to, left. So. I'm going to get away because I'm not interested in getting, you know, torn apart. So I'm going to move through order. Sure. Over okay. There. Perfect. Yep. Uh, okay. Awesome. And, and uh, last action. I'm trying to think, because I'm looking through my inventory. I don't have anything I can really use that's just not a combat thing, I guess. Uh. <laughs> 
Because unfortunately, I'm looking at uh, Skunk Bomb. It didn't actually have uh, any stats associated with it, so I don't remember what Skunk Bomb does. It's been a little bit. Okay. Um... Sorry, I, I. It's here, but it's just saying. Oh, there it is. Never mind. In that case, I'm going to throw a Skunk Bomb at them now. Draw and throw. Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, so are you throwing it at which one? Uh, the wounded one. Uh, the wounded one. Okay, the one here. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Give me it's an attack a roll. Stink attack. Yep. Fart. That is a hit at a 10 and 26. Hey, okay, one sec. It does some poison damage, but that's not the main goal of the, po the skunk bomb. <laughs> perfect. I'm just double checking one thing here. Yeah, hits by one. That'll be perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, roll the damage, please. Sure. Damage is not impressive for this weapon. It's like D4s. So hey. it does like uh, seven damage and then four in a radius. However, skunk bombs have a fascinating effect in that uh, any creature hit by the bomb or in its splash area much must, must make a DC 17 fortitude saving throw. Maybe now, give me a fortitude saving throw, please. Yes. Does, so I need to ask that then, uh, yep. Thurston. Because yep. I can allow it to not hit allies, mm -hmm. does that still force them to make that check? Because it only says creatures. No, it doesn't. Bomb. In this case, it does. Interesting. Yeah. So as you as you throw the bomb, this happens. Rahua, as you are sort of peering and attempting to smash through the door, what you see is that Baldric throws a bomb that hits Vina directly in the face. What the fuck? Uh, so, Vina, give me that fortitude save. Plus. Ah, I have understood the issue. Oh, but I'm assuming uh, Odo has stepped away. Yeah, she, that she, is she, okay. Un she ironically went to the restroom right at this moment. Uh, perfect. That's fine. Okay, yeah, we'll come right. back to it then. Uh, all right. So uh, that well, okay. G Vina, give me a give me a fortitude save. Bang, you're back. Welcome back. Uh, oh, and God. then, yeah, yeah, you just got hit by one of Orin's, or by, by one of Baldrick's bombs. Owie! As you take some poison damage and some skunk stuff to the face. Uh, 29. That's, that's fine. Uh, okay, perfect. You are, You're good. You are second one. Oh, Excellent. Stinky. I will get that going. Uh, and that will bring us to Orin. Orin, you're up. Yeah, see, uh, you know what's really funny, Odo, is you went away at exactly the right time where you could have learned something. <laughs> About yeah. what's going no. on. And so so as you as you see, you see Baldrick hurls a grenade that strikes this figure in the back of the head, uh causing him to to gag and whirl towards you. What are you gonna do? Oh, it's my turn? What? Uh, Orin. Yeah. Oh Orin. Yeah. Orin would like to look at the um the fellow to the top right of him on the map. And yeah, he seems there... to be getting ready to stab down at uh Tannhauser. Uh, is there a check I can do to try to try to look past any illusions? No, no, let's do a different check. Um, can I do either a nature in a medicine type of sense or a medicine check to see what type of stupor he may be in? The uh, affliction he, he has? Yeah, I'd, I'd allow a medicine check. All right, I also do so. Let me see here. Da, 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 da. There it is. Uh, technically, it's not supposed to have healers club, so a total of 20. Yeah, it looks like this person's under, like, the effects of, like, maybe heavy drugs. Like, they're just, like, not animate. Like, they're nowhere near as spry or the like as the previous uh, assassins you fought. Okay, okay. I would like to attempt to trip him. Okay. It's like, allow me to do a thing. I'll do something to make it a lot easier on us. Hold up. You do trip... Put that on my thing, and then I click mm -hmm. this, and then I click this. There we go. And basically what I can do, I can target him, click this, and it'll do all the math for us. Yeah. I try to go like, huh, and I roll a natural one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You trip yourself is what happens, so yeah, you fall prone. Uh, I lose pallets and fall I like, Mr. Tanhouse, I don't think they're themselves. It's just, they're all trying to get <laughs> basically just <laughs> face plant. And yeah, mess you up. just you just fall down. Um, 
I spend my last action to go in the fetal position and cry. That's the end of my turn. Oh god, okay, I'm gonna use this one because it's so appropriate for Oren. It's called, uh, it's by, from Zenit, it's called Awkward Silence. Uh, the player, you know, fails the skill check, they fail so spe spectacularly that everyone stops and stares at them for an uncomfortably long time, and you're frozen in place with overwhelming embarrassment and wounded pride. Uh, and you gain the stunned one condition as you have to spend an action next turn, um, basically, uh, like dealing with your 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 kind of just broken ego and pride. <laughs> Don't look at me. Oh. Wow. Now, but you have two actions left this turn. The stank. <laughs> it's like you know, I spent one action to do the medicine check thing. The oh, that's right. You have one action left. And yeah, my, yeah. And my last action was to uh, lay down and cry, or I had to spend that one action with the stunned. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let you get rid of the stun then as you just cry yeah. it off. <laughs> Rahu is just looking at Oren with a grossly hyper realistic face, just <laughs> like SpongeBob. Bro, um, yeah, like, say it like that, like that, like that. <laughs> Bro, that was cringe. Uh, um, <laughs> and he kind of looks up at you, like eyes welling up with tears. Like, what are you? Like sad, wet eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like Orange like was walking with a big tray full of food at lunch when he tripped and fell, and everybody saw. Yep. <laughs> uh, Tannhauser, you are you are seeing this this person coming towards you with two knives, ready to bring them down and stab you. Mm, okay. Uh, that's bad, and I don't like getting stabbed, and Tannhauser does not, uh, appreciate, uh, this general circumstance. So, fucking bastard, thirst in hell. What? <laughs> Nothing. In what? order to deal with these threats, I suppose I'll do what I was going to do. Yep. And I'll cast Mirror Image. It's okay. A desperate measure, but in combats like these, I know how hard they can turn. Okay. So with my mirror image up. Okay. I will, uh, with my remaining one action, I am going to uh, attempt to move. Uh, okay. By Baldrick. Sure. Uh, that would mean taking an AOP. Yeah. But. My original plan is that these guys go invisible. And if there's two, there's more. And they're going to be appearing at like any second. So I've got the flower ready. Mm -hmm. I've got all the things needed. We need to defend like an area and like create a almost like a shield wall kind of situation. Uh, and cool. I will call out to everyone. The assassins are relentless. Defend this corner. We'll see them if they come to strike us. And that will be my turn. Cool. All right, this assassin's going to go. It's going to rush through the bookshelves. Let's see. Oh, my God. He's no clipping. What There's a no cheater. clipping to there, to there. Vina, did you have attack of opportunity? I forget if you took that. No. Hobo? Oh no. I'm checking you. Yeah, I think. You did. You did take it. So you can take an attack of opportunity as it runs past towards you. Yes. Okay, please make your attack. Checking. Yep. Why did I close out of my character sheet? I got him. Uh, sweet. Roll a uh, DiMaggio. You can't do a finisher on this one, but you can just hit yeah. normally. Yeah, Vina. Whoop. Okay. 21 points of damage. Very epog. Okay. All right. Then he's going to go and he's going to stab you. They're flanking my ass. They are. Oh. Wait. Oh, hit by plus three. No, I can't. Yeah, okay, you're gonna take Ow. 19 points of damage. Ow. As you start feeling them kind of moving up and stabbing into you, uh, he's gonna take another attack. 
That'll miss. It's not a critical miss, though. Uh, that will be that one. Vina, your go. Okay. First off, Al. Yes. Second off, I'm going to kill your friend. They don't, uh, they don't seem to respond to you at all. All right. Uh, I'm going to uh, attack the guy that I've already laid into. He looks a little sure. more beat up than the other, yeah? Yeah. Eat. Hey, that'll hit. Give me uh, Jean DiMaggio. Ooh, okay. Some, some good damage. Some good damage. He right. kind of hits, sort of staggers back a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to use my next action to yeah. tumble true. Okay. Uh, Ooh, that will that will not succeed. That will not succeed, indeed. Uh, you will you will find yourself pushed back into your your place. I'll spend a hero point on that. Okay. Hero point. I saw that. There you one, go. And I'm just like we're oh. so back. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So you're able to to shift through. Okay. Cool. Yep. This away. So they stop flanking my blue ass. Yeah. <laughs> Not my hungry ass in the library. <laughs> what does that mean? What does my, that mean? My hungry ass could never be a librarian. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you get through to there. Perfect. All right. Cool. Uh, and that's it for Vina. Indeed. Uh, or wait, do I have one more wait, action? Attacked. No. Yeah. You've got one left. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you do. You do. Yeah. I'll just. I'll just hit him again. Sure. Minus five. Cool. Not as well. Uh, whiff. Give me a will save. Why? Give me a will save. 25. Cool. cool. Yeah, you just whiff as he seemingly just shifts out of the way of that attack, but that will cause you to lose your panachio. All right. Rahua, you're up. You've seen that Vina has sort of jumped in front of you now. Uh, the other ah. two sort of opposite side. Uh, can I get through Vina without just trouncing her? Absolutely. Yeah, you can oh, always move hungry. through a friendly space just fine. You can't stop yeah. anything. Vina, I'm coming out of the way! Oh. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Who is going to look at the one gross individual yep. right next to Vina? It's like, oh. Oh, I don't like you. I have trouble associated with you. I'm going to cut your head off now. Goodbye. Sort of turns to slightly look at you. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. You can do it. Uh, can you roll damage for me? Of course. What does that mean? Okay, you do seven points of damage to Oren. <laughs> as, uh, as, Vina, as as Rahua comes barreling through, you see him raise up his uh, his pick and then smash it into Oren's uh, shoulder. Man. Oren, to you, one of the, the assassins has hopped over and stabbed you in your shoulder. <laughs> Come on, what'd you, what'd you stab him for? Well, <laughs> what, do what, do you, what do you mean? I, I, I hit the thing that was right there. What? I didn't do anything. Look at him. What's your Look third action, Rahua? I would what? like to make a perception <laughs> check. Sure. Ooh. 34. Yeah, you're starting to notice that things in this room are off. The dimensions are off. Everything in this room seems off. For a moment where you think these assassins are standing briefly, you can see that it's your friends standing there. Um, give me a give me a free religion check. Sure. Religion? Yeah. I don't think God's going to help me here. No, I'm good. Wow, fuck. 20? 20 is enough for you to recognize this is some kind of like haunt and or corruption effect. Uh, so this is like oh. a specialty style hazard that is going on, uh, possibly something that has corrupted the fabric of reality in this room and is making you think that you're seeing things that you are not. And these things are causing you to attack people um, that are your allies thinking they are not your allies. Oh, 
I'm, I'm hurting the people yeah. around me who I care about by the consequence of my own actions. I don't like the implications of this. I'm not Why ready to face that me? part of myself. I didn't mean to hurt you! I'm fucking bleeding, bro! And he's like just clutching a wound. Oh, no, but, but to you, but to you, Orin, it looked like one of the assassins stabbed you. Don't pollute my bit. Why? I'm ruining it. <laughs> uh, he's ruining it! I'll drink you up. <laughs> Uh, what did I see, Thurston? Uh, you saw that one of the assassins jumped and smashed into Orin, and that Rahua is bravely attacking the assassin. The only oh, one, no, no, like, no. shouting nonsense at this point is Vina. Give, give Baldrick a quick recap as to what she is shouting about. That, like, why you, why you hit poor Orin. Okay. Can I try to... I can't attack whatever the hell's going on here because that would be meta con That would be metagaming. I can't do that. Can I leave the room? Yeah, absolutely. Baldrick is sensing that something is not quite right given that... Uh, by the way, did I see my skunk bomb hit the assassin? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looked like the, the assassin was, like, coughing for as a reaction from that. But I can see clearly now that Vina is in front of me. How does she look? Uh, well, she looks she looks very healthy and spry, like she's taken no damage at all. Thurston, I'm gonna have Baldrick leave the library. Absolutely. Now, can you move me out of the library? I can't move myself on the library. Go. That's one move. Okay. Baldrick is going to look back. What do I see now? Same thing. Like, it looks like Vina is, like, completely unharmed. It looks like, you know, they're you're fighting these assassins in the doorway. God, I wish I could detect magic. I love not being able to detect magic. All right, I'm going to do I'm shit. gonna do the only thing I can do that's left. Mm -hmm. Thurston, I shut the door. Okay. Clang. Perfect. Good. I reopen the door. Okay. Is it changed? No, it is the exact same scene you saw previously. <laughs> All right, well, that's my turn. I, I'm... Something Orin. doesn't feel right, so he's you are not going to engage. Orin's going to stand up. Mm-hmm. Like a brave little boy that he is. He's going to walk past Rahua, go to the yep. other door. He will open it. Okay. That's all he it can do. That's all three it actions. It leads into a hallway with a door to the northwest. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Tannhauser, what are you doing? All right. Uh, Tannhauser, seeing that we have him on the ropes mm -hmm. and with no reason to suspect anything. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sorry, guys. I will laughing shadow teleport here. Perfect. Oh, God. And I will spell strike this unfortunate. Perfect. For a flanking bonus. Yep. Or spleen gets stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> the alpha abuse of organ harvest continues. Okay. All right. That's a hit. One sec. One sec. I have to do some comparative math here. Okay, cool. Roll damage. All right. Here's normal damage. Okay, give me the spell damage. All right. Here's... I would love to tell you all that I wouldn't waste more resources, but I would. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll just use a level one shocking grasp. Yeah, sure. For an additional 16 and a 1d4 persistent electricity damage. Cool. Okay. Give me a will save. I would love to give you a will save. Yeah. I, I don't know about that. 19? Uh, I'll hero point that. Hero point that? Yeah. That's, that seems cool. Not a bad idea. I, I, oh. 16. I love oh, this. This game's all, great. Kill them all. This game's great. This this is fun. <laughs> who who asks about to get grass? All right. So so all of you see this happen, right? Like like you all see 
Tanhauser rush to just in front of Vina and then like and then teleport with Laughing Shadow, right? Like it's such an epic maneuver. And then in Tanhauser's mind, Tanhauser appears here and stabs this 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 assassin in like this perfect but where Tanhauser actually ends up is right here, uh, in front of Baldric. Oh no. And Baldric will take 22 points of damage. And because Baldric does have um, metal on him, the bucket is now electrified, and Baldric is now taking persistent electricity damage. Terrific. All right. Uh, Vina, you're up. You see this happen. I I see Tannhauser hitting Baldric? Yes. Just, Tanny, what the fuck? Hold on, something's wrong here. Uh, but Rahua, to you, it looks like Tanhauser has successfully hit the assassin and done a really good job. Yes, nice job, Tanhauser. Nice job. Uh, Baldric, to you at this point, it seems now that Tanhauser has stabbed you and is betrayed. Why are we turning on Baldric? What do you mean turning on Baldric? He just killed one of the assassins. He's had it too good for too long. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong bit. Right. Uh, so what are you doing, Vita? on all right something something's fucky here we we've all kind of started to put the pieces together uh vina however is extraordinarily dumb uh do i have to roll something to to put the pieces together in character <laughs> yeah intelligence roll into how about deception since you're an expert at it this is true i i i know a deception when i see one uh, that's going to be a 26 for you. Okay. That is enough for you to identify. Yeah, there's some, like, some weird mind games happening. But you recognize you are the master of mind games. And oh. so, Vina, you recognize that you could spend actions making deception checks to basically try to overload whatever system this is by inceptioning the deception here. Interesting. Okay. So you could make additional deception checks. Like like you would try to disable a trap. You could try to like what a twist M Ni Shyamalan this thing so it just breaks down. Um sure. I'm going to I've got two more actions, so I will yep. go ahead and make a second deception check. To okay. uh, if we're M Night Shyamalaning, I'm I'm sending them to the beach that makes them old. Okay, uh, okay, okay, excellent. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll roll a quick deception here and see what that does. <laughs> Happy with that? No. Got some hero points in the tank. Yeah, I also have one more action. Uh, so mm-hmm. if that's not a crit fail, I might just use the third action to try and try and do it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll deceive him. I got it. Third action. Deception. Yeah, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, you start to say things that are confusing your allies into doing the right thing. <laughs> confusing my allies into yes. doing the right. Th- how did correct how does that work? Well, they're thinking other things and you're kind of staying one step ahead of the the things that they're seeing and you are directing them to do things that will supersede the chaos of this room. Interesting. Yeah. yeah what are you, what are you that, directing? In that case, I'm just going to uh, I'm going to grab Tannhauser's head. I'm yeah. going to uh, swivel his head to face where the assassins actually are. Yeah, through the doorway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to, like, reach my arm around. It's going to bend at, like, a 90-degree angle. It's really disturbing. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to grab... or uh, I'm going to grab both of their heads, Rahua and Tanhauser, and turn them toward the assassins and be like, Hold on. There's a funny trick being played. There's a funny trick. Look ahead. Right here. You'll find this trick very funny. I think it's... I think it's kind of funny. It's It's pretty clever. Then I'm in the middle of killing this assassin, I say, gesturing at Baldrick. <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not an assassin right now. Baldrick, uh, Rahua. I kill this assassin, I say to Baldrick. Where is Baldrick, according to Tannhauser? Uh, Baldrick is somehow now right beside Tannhauser. Almost like he's fighting. 
tooth and nail in melee, which seems odd with the assassin. So the so this is what I'm asking, Thurston, because this is this <laughs> is an intriguing setup you've put before me. Yes. Is Tannhauser now aware he is not fighting an assassin, or does he see He's... Baldric somewhere else? He sees Baldric, but like almost as though Baldric were sharing the same square as the assassin. Like they're they're, they're so rough and tumbling together. I see. So I'm grappling with the assassin on his side. Basically, yeah, yeah, Audrey yeah. is a well-known grappler. He does. Yeah, exactly. Nothing is wrong here. Uh, but however, this brings us to Rahua. <laughs> who has, not, who I, has um, <laughs> sussed out a bit, at least, that there is something wrong with the, like, this room in particular. And that there is some kind of, of, of effect or corruption happening here, uh, which he might be able to purge using some of his, you know, religious knowledge. That's a great point, Thurston. I was actually just going to ask. Though the room is corrupted and Euclidean space, as we know it, seems mm -hmm. to be violated by whatever is distorting the room, mm -hmm. since it's not following the paradigm of order and is inherently entropic by the virtue of this entire encounter being fucking chaos, yep. could I persuade you to do a religion check to navigate the fuckery that is going on in the room? Absolutely. Give me a religious check to to use your your knowledge of the anarchy to maybe find some sort of reasoning in the patterns or perhaps no reasoning. It'll be 14 on the die for 28. All right. So with this, you, you start to see the, the sort of like primordial cosmic view of this room and sort of take a step back, viewing everything as it were. And you utter some... I utterance I will let you determine that snaps everything back to its proper place. What 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 horrific or non horrific sound does Rahua utter that shifts reality back to where it should be? Oh, I'm, I'm I think I I think I'm seeing something here. As uh, things tend to align themselves and write themselves where space and time should be. You know, I'm everything snaps back to place Thank immediately. You for remove curse. I feel better about my life. The only <laughs> the only thing that appears to to still be is the 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 electricity on uh, Baldrick's helmet and Vina has been restored to health because Vina only took damage from fake simulacrums and then even Oren turning at the door sees everything snap back. Um, do you want to roll me just a d20 real quick there, Baldrick? Sure, I'll do Thank that. Thank you. I got, I got something planned in case I don't do it. Bzz. That's a 10. That's going to be enough for you to uh, to get rid of that if you spend some time just to make sure you don't take persistence. So you managed to... That, Thurston, before, before yeah. the electricity fully fades, though, he's going to headbutt Tenhauser. Excellent. The illusion has been lifted. Wait, wait, wait you're going to headbutt wait. me in my mirror image. Yeah, we're all to see which mirror image you have. Yeah. yeah. All right, so if it's... D4 what, it. D4 it. You, you, Thurston, you have to decide if it hits. It's on a one. No, one, one. On a one, it hits. Yeah. It's a two. You hit done. an image. And with that, let's take our break, everybody. Yes! <laughs> Imagine <laughs> the father just, boom, damn it. Boom, damn it. Boom. <laughs> I'm going to keep no this point. electricity hurting my head. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. We're going to answer questions from Patreon and chat and everything else in our beer back section. And for VOD yeah. viewers, we'll be back here in a couple bits. But for everybody else, don't go anywhere. Yeah. See, every time Zoran's like, please wait till I reintroduce us. And now I think he's just gone mad. Whoops. Just. He's eepy. He's very. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm I'm just going to assume whoop. that that's the whoop. Okay, very good. Excellent. Welcome back everybody. I'm taking charge. We find ourselves continuing the the following adventures of our destined chuckle fox into Sacristy Manor. And I don't know what's happening with our players, but sure, whoop uh, is the, the name of the game. Whoop. So we have just overcome some sort of hallucination event within this library. Um, and that is where we are at. So what is everyone uh, doing now?
Um, now that... What the... <laughs> I'm so confused. All right, stop. Screaming. I'm going to blow up this entire channel. <laughs> Yes, uh, passing it back to you now. Arn has opened the door on the far side of the room. Yep. Looks at everyone, yeah. looks back, and goes like, he's like, you guys ready to go? Like, Orin's trying to, like, do, put on a strong face, like, nothing went wrong, and he's totally trying to act cool about it. That's all right, buddy. Uh, why don't we do a quick scan of this room, see if we find anything, any interesting items, maybe whatever caused that funny illusion, and uh, then we move on. Sounds like a fine idea to me. Though I can't help but wonder if this place is actually a library or not. I take a look at the books on the shelf. Do they are they do they look real? Uh give me a perception check. Sure. Uh twenty-two. Yeah, so you start uh perusing through. This is um like these these all appear to be very, very common books that you would expect to see like a lot of almanacs about you know outset um city city documents uh compiled news reports you know like d strange documents like time fashion and you know just just a lot of like haughty documents but you're also noticing sc sort of scattered on the floor there are more of these papers now some of the stuff scattered on the floor all appears to be just blank like books that have no text in them whatsoever and then covers that display no titles um but you do find a few scattered pieces on the floor um that do have text on them one of them in particular sort of stands out as you're searching through stuff here tanhauser oh yeah yeah this one right here bam oh my god as you sort of pick it up and you see it's filled with some some text on it uh, Tannhauser will adjust his uh, his glass and he will uh, zoom in and read it. The city is filled with fools. A botched experiment. A botched experiment and they've abandoned the project. One. Uh, reading. Who needs it? One botched experiment and they've abandoned the project. One minor outbreak into the districts of the ramshackle Pons Palaster and it seems that all those all the those uh, those those people who lavished me with parties and gifts have overdrawn and ordered me and it disappeared and it's back have lavished me with parties and gifts have withdrawn and offered me nothing as recompense nothing the medic's guild has at least had the decency to retain my services though they've indicated i'll be fast-tracked to some form of honored retirement whatever that means if anything, I'd be the youngest noble to retire with honors from a guild. That at least provides me with the necessary time to continue my alchemical research on other avenues. Perhaps the rot is best left alone. Hmm. Well, doesn't that paint a pretty tale? No. I... Was that the uh, same writing as the first note? Yep. It seems as if our mutual friend from the first note found some pitfalls to his research. I see no reason to linger here. Let's move on. Right. Well, I guess this uh, confirms that definitely it will be okay to kill him. Even well, if he he's seemed to be having man. second thoughts. Clearly early. not quick enough. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't... That doesn't line up with, um, the history of the owner of this manor, does it? Or or does it? Society? No, like, um, the guy who owns this manor, uh, our good friend, um, uh, fucking... Oh Sandal. God. Sandals. I was, I almost called him fucking armpit. <laughs> Sandals Luxury <laughs> Resort Declan. That's his Sandals. full name. His new name is Arnold. Sandals and Luxury Hayden. Armpit Declan. Well, then, <laughs> he, he, he only became a recluse after the death of his daughter. So that's that does that's not old man Cateman, is it? From what I can tell, like does does that line up? Are there contradictions? We're gonna have to keep going, I think. We're not finding anything out because it's a little too preliminary. All right. 
Well, I will get in line. I will wipe yeah. off my sword of all of Baldric's blood. And... Hey, there's a washroom for that. <sighs> oh, but if you're, you're right. You're so right. I will go into the washroom. <laughs> I will do, 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 do. wash my sword off in the sink. I wash, wash my off. sword off in the toilet. Do you have another towel? Uh, the spectral undead holds out a towel. Thank you. And I will wipe it off. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'll close the door on my way out. And now I will... You did not tip. You receive no bonus. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Damn. Yeah. 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 Got to tip. Opportunity lost. Opportunity. <laughs> Typical hey, revolutionary. Tannhauser would tip. I, I just forgot. <laughs> Always wants things to change, but never has any to spare. Hmm, curious. I'll, I'm I'll, an intellectual. I'll tip him a silver. <laughs> so you're going to go back? Yes. Okay, go back. Workers of the world, unite. <laughs> it's locked. He locked it. You don't get to wash your ha hands again. God damn you. Um, all right. How do I break down a door quickly? Um, <laughs> Use a battering ram. Just punch a fist through and just make the hole and be like, you forgot your dip. And then just drop the coin. Yeah, I'll I'll get the coin and I'll slide it under. <laughs> There's your tip, by the way. Okay. And now I'll head back. You know what? I don't even care if I get the bonus. <laughs> Assisting the workers of the world is its own reward. <laughs> Even if they're dead and have no use for money. Let's go. Did you tip Hell him, yeah. Mr. Zanhauser? I did. The check's in the mail. Good. I did tip him. He's now at a 35 degree grade. I don't <laughs> sound anything like that. I don't care. Yeah. Arn, I'm evil Arn. Tannhauser. Or in whatever blows his hands up and then backs away into the hallway. <laughs> okay, Tannhauser, uh, where did you clone yourself? <laughs> so uh, this 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 hallway has several doors in it. There's one immediately to the west. Um, there is a door to the the north. A set of double doors. A set of doors to the south. Uh, and then there's just like a wooden wall to the east of the hall here. I love your uh, MS DOS room description, so I can type west. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. grew. It's like, okay. Let's try this door, everyone. I open the door to the beast. Yeah, okay. It opens into a an open outdoor courtyard with several um trees and then a stone bench to the far west. You can see uh right sort of in front maybe 15 feet is like a a shed. How big some is the shed? Um it's like 10 by 10, like standard size shed. Okay. He's like, hey, guys, I found an outdoor area. It has a shed. A shed? A shed. Sheds are never... I feel like only bad things ever exist in a shed. We should open it. Okay. Orin steps in. He approaches oh, yeah. the shed. I would roll okay. a perception I'm check to, to see if there's shed. anything in the shed. Okay. Um, please roll a perception check. It's like Muldrick's gonna try to rush you not not rush, he's gonna usher fucking Vina forward a little bit. Yep. Hey Rahua. Yes. I could you could there. you listen on the other side of the shed just so we can double listen? Oh, if you insist. Sorry, I I don't mean to linger behind. Oh. I'm just thinking about hands. Hands? Yeah. Just in general? Yeah. Yeah. Did you remember to watch yours? Oh shit, I didn't remember to wash my hands. Hold on. Okay, that I'll wait. Sense. I hold my perception check. <laughs> like right. med air with my wee 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 as Rahua goes to wash his hands. Okay. <laughs> the door is locked. The door is locked! Will It is. Only two people get to wash their hands. What a shame. Everybody else, you're just fucked. In this world of time, there is Rahua walks back, blood dripping mm -hmm. on the carpet from Orin's shoulder. Yeah, the bathroom's closed. They said they had no more bathroom. Uh oh, that's a shame. You always do what I do and wipe it on my pants. I don't. 
I don't have any pants, or in case you haven't noticed, I don't wear clothes. Well, wipe it on your weird wood thighs. Hold it! You told us all that that was your first time washing your hands. But you just also told us that every time you do wash your hands, you wash it on your pant. Uh, more likely, well, it's not really washing, I just wipe it. Yeah. Right. He's never held it under running water. Yeah. I've <laughs> At least been not in, intentionally. I've been in water, but I never, like, swished my hands around like that. Tanhauser oh appears a vampire. Tanhauser Everyone give me a perception check. No one's ever. Do you want me to give you another one? Everyone. Okay. You got it. 28. If it's rot based, we get a, I get a bonus. So I need to know if it's right. a rot based. Per, is it a rot based no. perception check? <laughs> I got a 20. I rolled a natural. <laughs> I rolled a yeah. natural one. Tanhauser, I can't find you. I forgot to wash my eyes out. Oh, no. That's, that is a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Uh, okay, so Tanhauser, as as you're you're having this debate with Oren in front of uh, the shed, um, a couple things happen. One, um, Oren, let's find out what your uh, complication is, since we're back apparently um, on the complication train here. Um, Remember, Chad, if you two want to make Oren die, you two can go to patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration and submit your complication. It's true. It's true. It's true. Um, and I'm just going to find a good one for this particular moment because I think there's a really good opportunity here. Um, you know, um, this was in a book somewhere by Toad Killer Dog. Um, you recognize something about this current situation, um, Oren, as you're as you're making a perception. Something that like there's something about this shed that just seems to interest you. It causes yeah. your your hand yeah. to sort of like go to open it to see what's inside. Just as Tanhauser has the horrific realization that the wood of the shed is glistening oh, I've just glistening. Got, I think I read this in one of my mist one of my mystery you know tapestries and I just I, mean, I just gotta see what's inside and then Oren goes to open it wait no it's glistening it's not real no, huh? I know what this is. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm just going to move you there. Right I, for... I see this creature. The one piece oh, is no. real. So oh. as you go to, do to, to open the door, the door slides off, revealing a row of glistening teeth in, in like a strange sort of, uh, I suppose one could say, um, maw. Uh -huh. little, little tendrils poke from the inside. Hello there. Oh, hey, man. Greetings. Oh, you know what? I think we should like, close the door. I put the battle music on, thinking like, oh, it's the Mount House. We're going to die. <laughs> and I have the, the music back. Like, oh, sorry. I like, look to the orchestra. No, not right now. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> it's like, it's like, hi, my name's Oren. Well met, Oren. I am Stan. Oh, sorry. Is that is it? Just sorry. It's like, and this is my friend, Mister Tenhauser. And uh, this is also my friend Rahua, and Baldrick, and Vita. Oh. Um, the the animate shed of teeth, uh, like leans forward in what could be a strange bow of sorts. Ah, oh, well met, well met, all of you. Oh, he's he's friendly. What's going on? Uh. I'm gonna take a look at this thing. Maybe if there's anything I know arcane wise about what the yeah, sure. beautiful beast could be. Sure. Arcana, occultism. Can I want to arcana and I'll roll occultism? Okay, okay. 
It played with that 20. It played with it. It always plays. It plays with my life. It's some kind of creature that mimics structures. Wow. That's awesome. Might I also make a check against this creature? Of course you may. We're looking for just occultism or arcana? Um, yeah, yeah. Occultism or arcana. Those would be okay. the, the two winners here. I see. All right. Yeah. I will roll an occultism check on this creature. Do it. 25. Uh, yeah, so you've just enough to recognize this as a uh, as an aberrant creature, a variant of a mimic called a mimout house. Uh, this one is particularly aged and and likely more powerful than its kin. Ah, an elder mimout house. <laughs> you can ask me two questions about the elder mimout house. Are th- oh, me, I intrinsically want to say, hmm, is this thing, are they intrinsically hostile? Um, Can they be bargained with? Or like, I, I'm not sure if they're like many other creatures in that it just exists to live and feed. I just imagine that like, you know, Dormammu, I've come to bargain, except it's Mimout House, I've come to bargain. Um, yeah, so these things are intelligent creatures. Um, sometimes they will converse with others, sometimes they won't. Um, they essentially can, like, they, they can be, they can be conversed with in, in different ways. Um, but what they are known for is uh, they're a regional creature, something that is like known to inhabit mostly around uh, outset, but other regions they've spread to. Um, they took on their name from often appearing as a lone outhouse in the solitude uh, along connecting paths between outset and like the port city of Tarort or, you know, someone who becomes like infected with like cholera or dysentery. And then they would find them, and it would be the equivalent of an oasis in a desert. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they they tend to find creatures and then consume them, um, feeding on their sort of, like, basic needs. Terrible. So, Uh. basic needs as in the very want to have reprieve. Like exactly. Some... Interesting. I like that. Deeply unpleasant. I am appalled at this thing's existence. I am considering destroying it. <laughs> Second question. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if this would be metagaming to ask our party would if we'd rather know how to defeat such a creature or how to stay at its good side because between you and me I don't want to fight an elder elder mimout house right now I feel no, like there are bigger fish to die to yeah. in we can this just mansion leave. Yeah we can leave Okay How might we appease or stay in the good graces of a sapient mimout house I immediately begin pointing a finger at Hulky Crow and I say don't you give a single piece of ground. This is a sap- sapient outhouse. <laughs> we are not talking about appeasing it. Stop. So you want to know how to appease the outhouse, Rua? Alternative phrasing, how to stay in its good graces. <laughs> Thank you. All right. If you wish to stay in the good graces of the elder Mamout house, one must show respect, but also like very clearly for it to for it to respect uh like for you to respect it it has to respect you so cow towing isn't going to be the way to engage with this thing i see so rahuo noting what this creature is and the information mm-hmm. that he recalls will lean mm-hmm. to baldrick okay so you may wish to know this, whether or not we're leaving right away. But it needs to respect us, and we also need to show it respect. This one has been around for a very, very long time and is likely amenable to conversing. 
But we don't. We shouldn't just kind of knuckle under because it'll just drag us in and probably eat us. Okay. So just be cool, and also don't be a bitch. Okay. Now, what was the Mimout House's name again? I heard it once. Stan. Dan. Stan. Stan. It is nice to meet you, Stan, and Rahua will bow towards it. I did not expect to see one of your kind so far away from the solitude. I didn't encounter many out there in my travels, but many of the encounters were pleasurable, or <laughs> not terrible, I guess would be the better way to put it. What brings you here? Uh, very good food here. All, all sorts of deliciousness. Jesus. <sighs> I came to an accord with the owner of this estate for excellent sustenance. Why would I leave? I see. Oh, it would make perfect sense then why you wouldn't. There are many good eats for the outhouses here. Plenty of people in desperation for good sanitation in a city like Outset. As it were. Yes, yes. You have a good view too. And he like like nudges towards the sort of stunning city vista at this point, the, the evening sun coming down over over the city as you see it like silhouetted by the bench. It is a rather nice view, yes. Now uh, can you give me a wisdom check? Sure. <laughs> Sure, I'll give you a wisdom check. Please. Oh, God. Let me... Ugh. D20. 18. So, like, as you see this vista, like, you turn and you see the sort of the stone bench, you can see perfectly this, like, mental image play of someone comes out here to sit on the bench and, like, look out at the city and then the, the the outhouse is positioned in the perfect space for it to just sort of advance behind them and then <laughs> consume. Oh no! Ah, uh, yes. The the everybody knows an outset. The most dangerous position to be is gazing at it at a vista. You never know when a fucking outhouse will creep up and kill you. Yes. Ste stealthy like a fucking building. Yeah, sounds about right for this terrible city. Yes. Nightmare, nightmare. You just you 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 have that mental image play in your head as you you see this. Hulky, I'm going to I'm going to give you something from the chat, and I'm going to I'm going to shame you with it if you wish to look in our general chat here for a brief moment. Yeah, I just I I the choice of words was less than ideal. I'm not gonna lie, I fumbled the bag. We're in, we're we're in the shitter. We are in the yeah. shitter. We're, we're in the shitter now. Well, then. Well. 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 Did Master Sandal put you out here for any particular purpose, or just... Well, I guess with the accord that you had mentioned to... Find those good eats, as it were. Okay. okay. Baldrick is going to, like, squint his eyes shut as though he's wincing. Just okay, the okay. words coming out of Rahua's mouth jaw. I'm gonna regret this, Rahua. But give me a diplomacy check. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. uh, I don't think you're gonna regret that. Because I have a plus one to diplomacy. We got we got our we got our face hanging out in the corner. Net twenty! Yeah! Poop mm. man! Poop <laughs> poo. -poo. Fellas call me the poop barber because I cut the crap. Shut up. Shut up. Ugh. Yes. No, no, not, not that sandal. No, no, no. That, that fat morsel is useless. I've seen his rotundness waddle through here a few times, and I've been tempted to take a little bit of a bite myself, but I've restrained myself. Oh, what a shame. I, I was hoping he would have met some poor end by now. At least something would have gotten a use out of him. 
but appreciate the knowledge all the same. I did see a couple hapless interlopers wandering about for an outhouse themselves, and all the bathrooms seem to be locked. So I'll send them your way if I happen to see them. The only ones I knew were the sandal of the, the, the remnants of his trysts who, who, who get get escorted out here so I may feed. Oh my I god, see. he feeds them to the pooper. Oh my what? god. You were fated to be fucking pooped. <laughs> you were going to be fed to the, the shit shack. Okay. Oh we need to kill him. I, uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna lie. Normally, I'm for talking to people. I think we should just skin add to the list. Uh, yeah, I, I just think it's on site. Like it's just, just the second we see him, just everybody unload their clips into him. Diplomacy yeah. has failed. We must kill this man instantly. I, I think what's currently taking priority for me to kill is this discussion. Is we should probably <laughs> find a way to leave. Yes. I'm tired of talking to this. I. I beast. I, you might be tired of talking to the poop mm -hmm. master. Not everyone is tired of talking to the poop master. Does is this, Tannhauser is this have words for the poop master? Steps up. <laughs> no, I, I have no words for the poop master. Oh, okay. The carp okay. Stands up. <laughs> you have no words for the poop master. I hate to say. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? I do have some words for the poop master. Oh, God. So uh, then, if I may. Interrupt. Is that allowed, almighty oh Stan? Yes. Where is the quickest way to the master of this estate's abode? Interesting question. I I don't quite get around inside very often, you know, given given my girth and all of that. But oh, what sorry. I would say is you probably find the uh, you could find a path perhaps uh, from the uh, the main the main foyer uh, the stairs lead upwards uh, of course you could go to the trophy room as well the master sometimes enjoyed spending time there that's simply to the east uh, if if you wish to however i would say that uh, the master hasn't been out here very often only only that that fat swine and those useless assassins who come and meander here. I've been tempted to take a bite out of them, I have. I can understand that. The terribly bad conversation. Pay no heed to the rules of decorum. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Very, 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 very rude, those assassins. Nothing like the ones I've seen from, from the distant lands of Zeskorin. <laughs> ah. So assassins other than the Zeskorins. This is where I'm going to ask you to give me a lore Zeskorin check. Oh my god, Zeskorin. Wait a second. That's different. That's a different place. Uh, my brain wasn't fucking working. That's mm -hmm. different from Clonshear. Oh my god. I get to roll this You're skill? There. Yes. Yeah, 29! Yeah! All right. Oh, yeah! yeah! What you say? All right. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So I'm gonna read something directly from the free Mamouthouse PDF that you too can get off our Patreon that you would know as a result of this. This was written many, many moons ago, but it's relevant here. In Zaskorin, the Mamout houses are actually employed as a specialized assassin by at least one of the continent's major nations and have been dispatched across the world on such missions. So they're poop house assassins? Yes. Well, they don't have to take the form of an outhouse. It's just where they got their name. They are literally structures, like small shed size structures that can eat people. Oh, I thought they were all poop houses. Okay. No, no, no. This one like, uh, looks similar order, like, to, a, to a dilapidated shed. Good thing we escaped those assassins, my lord. Uh, hold on a second, subject. I need to go take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Cover me. I have to go dig a whiz behind a tree. Are there many other Siskorim Mouthouses in this lovely facility? 
Oh, no, 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 not here. I'm the only mouth house here. I'm one of those rare city dwelling ones. Hmm. Well, you may want to see if you can find new accommodation. I have a ton good authority that this place is soon to be decommissioned. Does that mean? And there's like like a, a sucking licking sound. City inspectors will come. Yes. They're so plump and tasty. You've been extremely helpful. Have anyone have you eaten anyone recently? No. It's been a while. You look like a, a fight, so I won't do that. <sighs> well, best of luck. Everyone let us out of this place immediately. Word. Can you okay. give me one more perception check? Yeah, absolutely I will. <laughs> oh, a little door here. 25. There is a door to the southwest, yes. Uh, 25. As you sort of go over to this door you see to the southwest behind some of the, the foliage here, um, you do notice that on the bench, the stone bench, is another of those pages. Oh. Excuse me a moment. I'll take a oh, moment. Are you going to take a seat? <laughs> no. Are you going to be sit there and be vulnerable? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your back turned to me. <laughs> I've got eyes on you, Buster Brown. <laughs> I assume you just pick the note and like back out without spending the time reading it. I'll back up <laughs> to over here. Oh, you can open this door. Okay. No, with my back to the door. Okay. Facing forward, and now I'm gonna read it. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, sure. Let's. Uh... Show this one. Oh, wait. Uh, wait a second. I think that was the wrong one. One sec. Close that one. Close that oh, one. I, just right, I don't was... see it. Uh, don't you see don't it. see it. You see this one. Okay. I see that one. That's the one you see. I've taken Will to this retirement with my daughter and her lover now. Ah! My daughter Sorry. and her lover are now removed from the house and attempt to build lives of their own. Opening an herbalism shop in the squares, squire's palasta, I decided to treat myself to a few years of enjoyment of the privileges of my position in this city. Fine dining, extravagant parties, traveling across the continent and experiences of the flesh. All of these things that I might do. Of course, I plan to return to my studies after I've had ample time to distance myself from my work. After all... Sometimes the best solution to a creative slump is to walk away for a bit. That to me seems to give us the answer we need. This is undoubtedly the notes of old man Cateman. And he returned to his experiments on the rot after a lengthy retirement. Time out, time out, time out. Okay, I want to look at the position of the party here. So are you, like, having this exposition while, like, leaning past the outhouse to your party members on the other side? I presume they would be moving up to check in on me. Uh, I don't what? think anyone's past We don't have the... to get closer to Tannhauser. We can hear him talk plenty. He's plenty loud. We can hear yeah, him everyone talk knows how loud. loud I am. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Come on, let's leave. <laughs> yeah, Tannhauser just from another room. <laughs> fine. Okay, fine. Hi, everyone. Read out the note. <laughs> All right, we read the note. <laughs> Orn grabs it. Okay. What does it say? We just heard it. I, I didn't hear it. He's all the way over there. Please. Yeah, I, I really need to concentrate on this. Here, let me get in a good seating position. I grab, I grab, I grab Oren by the shoulders and begin to shred him like a phone book. <laughs> Ooh, this bench looks really good. Like oh, man, it's I like the, the King and Kodos from The Simpsons, like slurping, like. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, yeah. all right, biz. Back into the meetings of the biz. All accounted all right. for. Yeah. Going over things that we like and now it's set. <laughs> Five guys. Yeah. yeah. Rot burger. Yeah. yeah. Bar fighting. Yeah. Yep. This so funny. Fly collection. Yeah. All right. 
That does it, that's about, does it for the immediately outset, Bies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be in the poop room anymore. <laughs> don't yeah, want to be so in like the poop room All of you again. just, like, single file out. <laughs> wait, wait, there's a secret door, there's a secret door! <laughs> Behind the poop room! Follow me! Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, you've crossed uh, the, you've crossed the middle of the house space. You've aggroed around it. the house, Tad Houser. I, I, it doesn't matter. I want to know what this door leads to. Let us all put our backs to the Mamout House and open this door. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna walk past the outhouse, and it's gonna make the fucking quill bore aggro noise, just going. It's <laughs> 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 so study. All right, so you open it up, and it opens to what appears to be like a private smoking room. Oh boy, I love cigarettes. With a, with a small, uh, f like a small fireplace that's still got some cinders burning in it. Um, and you, you kind of step in. There is another note just immediately on the table in front of you as you enter this place. Thurston, I have to ask, are there any cigarettes in this room? Uh, the there's some on the tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just so I can I can have my own bit just because it's necessary. I grab the cigarettes and I go back out to the outhouse and I offer him some. Uh, what's this? It's good for concentration. Trust me, it'll take it'll take some getting used to. All, all, all right, and like like this little fleshy tendril comes out from between the boards of the door that's like beyond which is visible the realm of teeth, and it just like slithers around the cigar and pulls it in. Yep, and you just you breathe in, but you don't breathe into whatever equivalent you have in your lungs. You just swill the smoke around for a little bit, and you exhale. Oh. Crunching sounds. Yeah, that's how you do it. That feel good. I, I, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to contemplate things now. Very good. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. B Baldrick Weathers, please let's move on and not talk to this creature that has not aggroed us and killed killed us. Also, Baldrick Weathers. Mm, yes, today I will give a creature an addiction. It's uh, it's an outhouse. I don't respect it. Diseases and afflictions are rules set in Pathfinder Second Edition. He's an outhouse, Morty. I don't respect him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So as you come in, the the table beside you, Tannhauser, has a uh, another one of the notes here. Oh look, it's the one I accidentally previewed before. Oh, 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 oh. Why doesn't Vina read this one? Uh, Vina, read this one. Another note. All right, give me the here. Word. Here's the plain text one. There we go for my brain. Yeah, my tiny, tiny brain. All right, my daughter and son-in-law are dead. If the letters I received from the Chamberlain are to be believed, and I have no reason not to, there was a collapse of a renovated section of the Squire's Pilaster that had collapsed the roadway they'd established their new shop in. Even writing this sickens me to my core, for those so young to die in such a useless manner is beyond recording. It is an affront. Not even enough remains to attempt a magical restoration, which may be for the best considering the tampering of the church and all things. Now I will need to see to their toddler's upbringing and education. I have little desire to be involved in yet more child rearing, as it will detract from my ongoing alchemical research. However, as my father instilled in me, family is everything. Huh. So there's the answer about Sandal's parents. And it seems like Grandpappy was a little too focused on his alchemical research to properly child rear. Hmm. Or to make sure the door behind them is closed. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Did you find out that the guy has daddy issues? <laughs> Well, his parents are dead. Oh. Bummer. <laughs> he puts a board in front of the door. <laughs> Just boarding it up. Oh, like, yeah. Or it starts <laughs> nailing the door. Rough wa Yeah. That is... Interesting that he notes that the church would interfere in some kind of resurrection. He has some reason to be suspicious of them. Hmm. And there wasn't Wondering enough left if... of them. 
Wondering if this insight into the rot may be the reason that he started in that. There's all this kinds of wacky folks out there. I say wacky with a tinge of regret because lots of folks get driven to the brink all the time thinking they can learn something about the rot. Something that someone else didn't pick up on, but, you know, better minds have tried. It's not exactly the same as uh, Resurrection. But some people think they'll learn something else. It's my guess on it, at least. Maybe. There's reason to believe that Resurrection and the Rod are connected if he misinterpreted somebody with a sponsorship getting back on their feet. Hmm. Regardless, tuck it in the tuck it in the binder. We gotta get a move on, I think. Right. So we've got one more room down here, right? The trophy room. Uh, it is correct. So. Said he spent a lot of time in there, so I imagine we'll find a little bit more of his journal. Let's not go out through the bum outhouse. No, we're no. not going through that room again. There's. Orin finishes installing the five sentries in Claymore that now aims at the door. <laughs> <laughs> and pretend, continues to leave outside of his door, going to the trophy room with his friends. He pulls Rahua's hand, hoping Hokey will move the token on Foundry at foundry.com, where you too can find your way of a virtual he tabletop. At he r- looks at Ryan. Rahua. Forge. Dash VTT Warren plays peekaboo. Warren plays peekaboo with the Rahua, waiting for him to get closer <laughs> to this way. I will fucking end your life. Do you understand me? <laughs> sorry. I, I, sorry, again. I, I, I went from thinking from hands. I'm thinking hours. about the... Get oh, here. I close the door again. Hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> door stuck. Door stuck. There's another one? Door stuck. <laughs> Please. I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> we're just having for the audio people. We're just having fun with the foundry where I've replaced Rahua with a Mamout house. Also, fucking, I'm getting a strobing attack now. Excellent. Kill him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I am lingering a bit. I went from thinking about hands to now thinking about the image of a Mamout house looking out over the vista of of outset and Byronic solitude, smoking a cigarette. You know what? Good for him. Sounds I think like you vibe. should think about things less. <laughs> I think you should go to jail. I already did. I like yeah, during all, all of that exchange, someone was smart enough to close that door to the north so the Mamout House wouldn't see you walking down the hall. Exactly. All right, we got two doors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will take the. I will take point. I'm very powerful. I will open the door so that the Stan can see us and make sure he watches our backs. I think you should not do <laughs> that ever. <laughs> all right, we're we opening the double doors. Let's open the... No, shut that door. <laughs> I throw a batarang and shut that door. <laughs> All right, let's open the door. Who opens the door, the door let's, again? Let's open, open the, the one to the door. north, please. Open, open <laughs> the door. Or opens the other door. There okay. Room. All right. So you open the door. Uh, this d- set of double wooden doors opens to an immense Jeez. trophy room, upon which several things are. There is a um, another fireplace above which is a massive rack of um, you know deer antlers or some other creature. Uh, there are various stuffed avians to the north along a desk. There's some sort of prehistoric creature that you can see the skeleton of set up on a display to um, to the north. However, the most notable thing is sitting on the couch to you is the form of Ponkel Compt the Gnome, who is sprawled out on the couch, tied up, um, and he stares up as you the door opens and you look in and you could see and he opens his mouth, but you see all of his teeth have been removed and he's just going, <laughs> Oh! Ah, oh. oh. I guess we know what happened to Ponkel Compt. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna step uh, uh, trepidatiously inside. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, Ponko Compt, I need you to do it for me. Oh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Stop screaming. Stop screaming. All right. <laughs> All right, I want you to, 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 to make a noise twice if there's danger in this room and once if we're okay. 
Well, There's that was tags. four times. Oh, yeah, that's four yeses, so we're really safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it was two no's, so we're in extra danger. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's uh, that sounded like a no to me. Shake your head, yes or no. Like he kind of moves his head in a circle, <laughs> like exorcist or like no, no, like like up and down, side <laughs> oh, okay. to side, like not like, like no, you're rolling not your like head, one eighty, yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just Is all just gnomes like, in, the, in the world of time. Projectile you know? gnome vomit, <laughs> three hundred sixty degree movement of their necks. Um. Well. Uh, just gesture if there are any traps anywhere. Thank you. <laughs> it like, like edges into the side of the of the couch, like going into a fetal position as much as he can with the like the rope still around him. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut him free. Oh, I let you do it. Oh, oh, sure. I mean, we both have rapiers. They're not exactly cutting weapons, but we'll no, do our best. No, no, I, I I might get the room. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. No, he's dead. <laughs> Don't go to the left side. <laughs> the roar of the Moon Mount house the echoes side. from the hallway. Wait, hold on, hold on. The door is not open, so we can assume he did not. <laughs> well, um, he might just run out the front door and die. So let's look around here. You know, with this sort of behavior, it's no wonder he has no bitches. Oh. <laughs> Oren puts his hands on, on Tanner's shoulder and, and goes, "No." He he told me that's why he that, wanted to join the revolution. No. It's him, not me. Pat, it's Pat. Tanhauser, <laughs> are you lonely? Why would I ever be lonely? I have everything I've ever wanted. Us. Uh, Most of your body being gone. And with that, as as this occurs, you notice one thing. Uh, where Punkle Comp just ran off out of the room, uh, racing down to who knows where. Uh, he has left another shred of this paper. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. Why does he I have that? I'm uh, going to yell at him. We're playing Amnesia, yeah. the Dark Descent. Yeah. Whoa. It did. This one's actually two pages. Oh, it's a long one. Well, who should read this one? Okay. Age. Age is the eternal enemy of man. Sandor has only seen my life through the worst of my excesses, and now seeks to emulate those. I cannot stop him, for I cannot deny him my legacy, as doing so would end my own legacy. He merely bides his time until my passing seeking to seize our family's wealth and resources to fuel whatever drives him. He will need to learn by walking his own path. I, however, must find a means of ensuring the family legacy does not end in such an indolent manner, betrayed by a dozen or more bastard children. I wasted my talents in pursuit of nothing more than the failed understanding of others, self-indulgence and the horrible art of child-rearing, None of those were what I destined. I was destined for. No, I should have had the chance to focus my efforts on the more noble act of improving the state of mankind through advancements in alchemy. Now I am denied. My hands shake as I write this, the arthritic state of my body beginning to take over. No longer is my body able to keep up with the mind within. There must be a solution to this age-old problem. Perhaps in my studies there is some manner of solving it. I must endure. I must make something of this life. Oh. Well, I suppose we're stringing together what has happened to... the Declan Elder. I would assume that, um... perhaps in order to solve his age problem, he started looking toward the rot, hasn't he? I don't think that would be very far from the truth. Especially if he has an ill understanding of things such as sponsorship. Maybe he has sought out his own pact with divinity. Bootstrapping himself to some higher cause or power that was denied him. The own providence of his intelligence seemingly wasted or absent from the sight of powers beyond our own. Hmm. 
Guess that means we, uh, might have to be ready for a fight when we find him. I don't think it would be fair to say that that isn't the case. Perhaps that emanation of something horrible and rotten from the basement. Perhaps he has flown too close to the sun in his experiments. Let's sweep this room one last time and get a move on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, give me a perception check if you got it. <clears throat> You're up. Or an also help look around. Rahul will also Thank assist. 25. Ooh. Ooh. 25, 25, 25. Orin got yeah. a 23, being inferior than the others. Wow. Uh, well, you find a couple things. First of all, I'm just going to update it. Um, scattered in the, the sort of, um, like, footrest uh, chair to the northeast, you can see that it has a pop trunk on it, which inside there is a good amount of gold in there, um, specifically about 362 gold pieces. So I'm going to drop that into your wealth. Oh, nice. I Scrooge McDuckett with my little yeah. hands. There are two, or, or sorry, there are um, three other things in there. Um, the first is a, a armor rune that you notice. Uh, the second is a collar. And the third is a bobble that's made out of jade. I'm going to hand those things to the wizard. All right, uh, I'm going to be taking these things. Mm -hmm. uh, I will be casting Object Whispers on all of these items. Sure, you can tell that none of these have uh, have resonance to them. So, like, you pick them up. You, they're, they're magic items, but they aren't resonant. They're more like, these are probably trinkets that were kept within the house. In which case... But I... they do radiate magic, because I assume you would try that. Yeah, magic. I'd like to identify them, so am I just going sure. okay? Uh, yeah, give me, tell me which one you're going to try to identify first. And I'll uh, we'll do through. the, and remember, there's the jade gobble, uh, the, jade. The, the jade bobble, the collar, and the rune. I'll check the rune first. Sure, give me a check. 37. It is an armor resilience rune. So that is basically a rune you can put onto your armor, and that will grant you a plus one item bonus to all saving throws. Ah, that's pretty good. Yeah, highly good. I'll check out the jade. Yep. That is a 28. Okay, so this is a talisman. So again, it's one of those one-use items. It takes an action to use it, which does destroy it. Um, but what this does is it will draw the attention of your foes and any enemies within reach of the weapon when it's activated are flat-footed. But it's basically like a one-use thing. Okay, so one use draw aggro. W one use count your foes as being flat footed. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I if they're if they're within melee range of you, yes. basically. And then the collar. Yeah. Let's see what kind of weird kink shit this is. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh. Thirty-five. This is a leather collar. Uh, it looks like threadbare, but as you as you analyze the magic, you can tell that it is a magic item called a collar of inconspicuousness. Um, you can touch a companion you have to transform it into a non-threatening tiny creature of the same family, um, and basically has the effects of like a pest form. So essentially, you can turn an animal in like. That that's with you or like any kind of companion creature into a tiny cute version of that thing that sticks around. Ah, Orin, I found a solution to our Gorgamunga problems. Yeah? On account of him being so goddamn big all the time. It, this collar, wrap it around his neck and you will be able to transform him into a smaller, portable version of himself. Oh. Why'd well, you roll your R's like that? I'm trying a new thing. <laughs> is, it, is it working? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, to keep it up if you want. I didn't say nothing. But, uh... All righty, then I will. <laughs> okay, you can stop that now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Orin tries. 
There is also under the pile of uh, of of uh, coins and items yet another note. Oh. And you you recognize like the way these notes are showing up is very unsettling at this point. Like this is this is not a natural phenomenon. Something is happening to make you find these. Interesting. Likely the psychic residents of the house. The same thing making all the paintings want to kill us. So the house itself is evil? Well, I thought that was well established. Yeah, but the house it's itself a is a monster. A monster house, if you will. Shut up. Oh. I won't. <laughs> Who's reading this one? I'll take a crack at it. <clears throat> If you want to bring up the text version before you interrupt me with it, I could read that too. I already did, I thought. No, I'm just no, I'm just I seeing have... the uh, the image. Oh. Yeah, have that one. I'm not seeing it, so I'll just read this version. I believe. Yeah, I'm not seeing whatever you're trying to link. Usually when you bring it up, it immediately interrupts the other person with the visible text. It's very funny. Weird. Uh, <clears throat> somebody who has the text maybe read it? Does someone else have the text? Society? I have the yeah. text. Yeah, I got it. God, I love society. No! Society. Well, who I read it now? Yeah, you take it over. Mine's just not showing up. Weird. Okay. Spurred by my renewed research, someone visited my home. They came with offers of clandestine help from my particular field of research. Specifically, they offered samples of that accursed substance that I could use to test its resilience and ability to prolong corporeal flesh. Their requests in exchange intrigued me. Access to the ancestral libraries below at Sacristy Manor. Of course, having exhausted my many tomes within my, within, during my youth, understanding little of what it contained, I was ecstatic to make that trade. I've opened the doorways below, beyond the hall near the trophy room. The path leads to the lower levels where the family archives reside. There I intend to let my new benefactor research whatever it is they seek, while I prepare for my next round of experiments. Perhaps, using the abominable malignancy I once sought to use, I can uncover some means of ending this arduous aging that has taken hold of my body. And so it would seem that outside help has arrived. It mentioned a room near the trophy room. Yeah, down the hallway. There was this another man. door. This man was made of a tepid substance. Hmm. Containing the rot to reverse aging of all things. Let's see what prize it's won him. Very well. Everybody, uh, brace yourselves, I guess. I open the door. Oh, okay. the fountain. Yeah, you open up to a courtyard. Another one that is has like finely maintained hedgerows, a you know large water feature, um, with a sort of stand up, you know, stone fount that's gurgling out liquid. <laughs> there is another <laughs> bench. Sorry. Yes, I sit bench. on the bench and I see that the fountain starts creeping up on me. <laughs> Oren, as you do so, you come up to the bench and you see that there is, once again, a note on the bench. Oh. Oren I thought will I was pick it up. Say... Yeah. How I'm going to get you to read this one, Zorin. Uh -oh. I'm going to share the, the full image first, and then I'm going to share the text. Yeah, it says Oren doesn't know how to read super well. He'll go to the group to help him get through it. As it uh -huh. says... Let's see. I require test subjects to enact my latest experiments. The flesh and mind must be strong and able to endure the rigors I will put it through. My benefactor has secured something exceptionally suited to the task, something I am eager to experiment with, but a subject that I must explore beyond the confines of this city. To that end, I'm, I prepare for a sojourn into the solitude a locale I have not visited since my spry days of youth. Or youth, bleh. I am so close. So very close. Oh. Mm. Well, 
That answers our question about the culprit behind what we saw. Orn looks at everyone. What does it say? <laughs> you just... Would you, I, thought, I thought you read it. Or no, I, no. I, I said before I read that Orin doesn't know what it says. So he goes to everyone else for help. Huh. <sighs> this is... Uh, it seems we found the culprit behind what happened to Gorgamonger. I would assume that the test subject he's talking about couldn't be anyone else. Does the paper say it? Yeah. And I'll I'll read uh, it aloud to Orn. And Orn looks at it, he's like, it's saying the guy we're going to go talk to kidnapped Gorgamonger? It's unlikely that he did it himself. It seems like his contact, whoever that must have been, was the one who captured him. But it seems like Grandpa Deckland was the one who enacted the experiments. We're going to grab hold of its staff tightly. Definitely looking more and more enraged. And uh, but he tries to, his very best to control himself. But he nods everyone and he goes, okay. And that's it. That's all he says. And that is where we're going to call it for today, everybody. Oh, wow. my heart. My heart. Orn's going to burn a house down. <laughs> we're going to do it anyway, but now we're all on board with it. So that's good. Hell yeah. yeah. But thank you, chat. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on this exciting episode of Rock Grind. Remember, you can always follow us at, on YouTube, on Twitch, and support us on Patreon, all under the name Narrative Declaration. And of course, join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash narrative declaration. We hope you guys have been enjoying the show. This is the last episode of 2023. For those listening to this later in the future, don't worry about it all. You know, we're still going to be having amazing adventures with all of you. And remember, if you want all the PDFs, assets, things that we do and stuff, we like to make them all, put them up on Patreon, where you too can journey in the world of time. But of course, this campaign cannot only happen, cannot happen with just, with just me and Thurston bashing our heads against the wall. It happens thanks to all of you and also thanks to the amazing players, starting off with Oda, Oda Roshi. Hi, hello. It's me, Odo. I've been playing Vina, the Sylph Swashbuckler, and I'm very excited to see you all next year. Everybody have a wonderful holiday season, a happy new year. I hope you all eat lots of food and get lots of gifts. And of course, yeah. next up, we have the ever amazing Hokey Crow. Hello, that is me. I am Hokey Crow, and as always, I've played the Kenrasu Cleric Rahua. Uh, Thank you all for spending another year with us. It has been absolutely wonderful through everything else and the turmoil and whatnot. But I am so happy and so lucky to get to spend all of that with you guys. And of course, chat too, our our, our wonderful always friend chat. And I look forward to seeing you all in the new years. As always, happy holidays. Keep your loved ones close. And yeah, just, and have a good time. Stay warm. Or cold if you're in the southern hemisphere. I don't know. Yeah. The one who's staying as cold as the corpses that we're about to make. It's Arendell. What the hell does that mean? Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Arendell, and you can meet me at Twitter at Arendellio, and keep our eye out for whatever me, Alpha, and Speaker, and Speaker, and Alpha, and me are working together to release. Uh, and again, yeah, enjoy enjoy the long break, enjoy your holidays, whatever the fuck it is you're celebrating. It could be anything. You got you got Chrism, you got Hanukkah, you got Kwanzaa, you got other stuff that I don't know about, and that's why I'm saying other stuff, because I don't know, because I don't research it. But that's fine. There's many other things out there. Celebrate what you want to celebrate and have a great time. And uh, enjoy, enjoy the holidays. And of course, the That's one it. currently sitting on the bench, looking looking vulnerable and eatable, 
is Speaker D. He's so vulnerable and eatable, guys. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm going to kill you. I didn't choose this fate. This fate was chosen (laughs) for me. Hi, everybody. I'm Speaker D. As the holidays approach and the snow falls, uh, I just want to say I've had a lovely time. Uh, doing all this with you and all of our projects, be it Narrative Declaration, be it the awesome year we've had at Ogre Copening, um, everything. And I'm very grateful for all that we have. Um, But Thanksgiving is the time to be grateful. So Christmas is the time to receive generous tributes. And I hope that your abettors and minions and various other... uh, treasured cat's paws, render each and every one of you a glorious tribute this holiday season, regardless of whether you've been naughty or nice. But be nice, because it's nice. That's my bit. And of course, the world could not have been so corrupted, the one as it corrupts us, thanks to our amazing game master, Thurston Hillman. I threw a shit aberration at the party today. Merry Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) That's all I got. I love you. Have a happy holidays, everybody. For real, though, uh, the support over the last year has been just amazing. I'm very excited to go into the new year with new stuff, new fun things. Be on the lookout. That's all. Easy. And, of course, I have been your host and your Orin, the Strix Druid, this evening. And, uh, And, honestly, we greatly appreciate everybody. Uh, even though we're going like, on our little month hiatus and stuff, uh, basically taking a break, trying to get some background stuff done, things like that. Um, always remember that we would not be here without any of you. It's all of you who come over to every single live stream, either it be on YouTube or on Twitch, either it be um, listening to us on podcasts, engaging with us and all of our different little projects and things and basically like cheering us on letting us know what you think about things and just generally just being around and saying in being an awesome community with all of the narrative declaration crew so thank you all so very much for your time for all of your kindness and we hope that every all everyone stays safe for you for now until forever and ever and we hope you all have an excellent holiday and an excellent life going on so with that Thank you all so very much for watching, and we'll see you next time in an exciting episode of Rock Grind. So long, farewell. Wonderful holiday, everybody. We love you. Happy holidays.